Chapter 3161 Peak Shamelessness The Lord of Silver Moon City was also a late Divine Lord Realm expert, with an extremely high seniority level at that. He was even older than the Master of Flying Cloud Cave, so he was on the level of old monsters. Little children, my apologies, but I cannot allow you to ruin Imputa's important matters. Otherwise, when his fury descends, my tiny Silver Moon City won't be able to endure said the city lord. You can't offend Imputa, but you can offend the High Firmament Academy demanded Beishishi furiously. She sensed the immense, raging power within him. Despite also being in the Divine Lord realm, his power was greater than the others. For them, an early stage Divine Lord was fightable, but middle stage and late stage ones were too powerful to resist. The High Firmament Academy is famed for being upright. They won't do something like destroy Silver Moon City. But the Blood Kill Hall is different. If we don't do anything, our Silver Moon City might very well be destroyed. So, ha ha ha, my apologies. But I can only choose to stop you. I trust that you won't blame me. The City Lord laughed like a wily fox. Shameless Beishishi was enraged. This City Lord was the original host of the Nine Prefecture Convention and was supposed to be impartial. Who would have thought that he would reveal his fox's tail here? So he was already one of Lord Brahma's henchmen, or there was no way that he would be listening to Imputa's orders. This was true shamelessness. When it came to choosing who to offend between a good person or a bad person, most people would choose to offend the good person. It was because a good person wouldn't go too far in revenge, but a bad person would wipe them out of existence if they could. This was one of the unspoken rules of this world. Haha, <laughs> you can say what you want. I have no other choice. Furthermore, I must also capture you alive. If there are any accidents, I need your life in my hands as a trump card. Hopefully, you won't blame this old man for bullying juniors. The city lord laughed. His shameless words were spoken like they were only natural and right. He then slowly walked toward Beishishi. Beishishi and the others were enraged. This city lord was absolutely shameless. Beishishi furiously shouted, Old bastard. Unless you can kill me, the day I rise will be the day that Silver Moon City is destroyed. No, you won't have that chance. I won't leave behind such a disaster in the making. He, the City Lord stretched his narrowed hand toward them. Chains spread, encompassing the space around Beishishi and the others. Shocked and enraged, they went all out, only for their attacks to instantly crumble just as they formed. As a result, they were shaken and coughed up blood. His realm is too high. We're unable to even bring out our full power, raged young master Changchun. The pressure of the city lord was immense, to the point that they couldn't even absorb heavenly Tao energy any longer. Ants should know respect, obediently be captured, or this old man might not be so gentle. If I crush one or two by accident, don't blame me. The city lord slowly walked over, unleashing another palm. Beishishi barely managed to unleash a slash of her sword only for it to get sent flying. The power of the City Lord's realm suppression made her unable to even use half of her metal energy. Even her primal bloodline was suppressed. With her sword gone and her blood chi shaken, she felt like she was unable to unleash even a fraction of her power. Bastard, this realm suppression contains mental energy in it. My mental energy still isn't strong enough. Beishishi clenched her teeth. She hated herself for having such weak mental energy. If her mental energy was as strong as Long Chen's, she would be able to ignore this kind of pressure. Long Chen could ignore the pressure of a world king, while she couldn't even resist the pressure of a late stage divine lord. At this moment, she glanced at the trapped Long Chen. She wasn't able to help at all. She was pale with worry. Just then, the city lord's next palm slammed toward Beishishi. However, Young Master Changchun and the others went all out against it and were sent flying. Give up this meaningless struggle. The city lord smiled sinisterly. All of a sudden, the sound of a zither rang out, shaking Beishishi and the other spirits. Somehow, the pressure crashing down on them lightened. Liao Yuhuang appeared in front of Beishishi, blocking the city lord's path. What? Is the zither sect planning on interfering in this matter? The city lord frowned Novaloon.com This junior is unable to watch a senior bullies a group of disciples. Hence, I am willing to exchange a few pointers with senior, 
said Liao Yuhuang coldly. Bei Shishi and the others hadn't expected Liao Yuhuang to help them. It had to be known that the Zither sect never interfered in the immortal world's grievances. They didn't interfere in any fights. HMPH. If you can't watch, then don't look. Don't think that this old man doesn't dare to do anything to you just because you are a disciple of the Zither sect. The city lord was enraged. He wasn't afraid of Liao Yuhuang, but he was afraid of the Zither sect that was behind her. That was one of the four immemorial sects. Just like the life forbidden area, he couldn't provoke them. More words won't help. Junior will have to be rude. Liao Yuhuang suddenly slammed her hand on her zither. As a result, five notes rang out in unison, shaking heaven and earth. The city lord's pressure instantly vanished. Bei Shishi and the others originally felt like fish caught in mud, but that mud had somehow turned into water. As the pressure vanished, they were delighted. It seemed that Liao Yuhuang, with her incredibly powerful mental energy, had a method to counter the city lord's pressure. Kill. Bei Shishi's manifestation burst into existence behind her. Transforming into a golden goddess, she charged at the city lord. Young master Chang Chuan, Qin Feng, Luo Xue, Luo Ning, Lu Mingxuan, and the others all attacked as well. This time, without any suppression, their confidence soared. As the zither music played, Bei Shishi and the others felt as if they were merging with the world. All the power of heaven and earth fell under their control. Only now did they realize that Liao Yuhuang's zither music could move the heavenly deos, giving them the support of the very world and allowing them to unleash greater power than they normally could. With Liao Yuhuang's support, they unleashed a rain of attacks, sending the city lord back. He was shocked and enraged. Amongst the rain of attacks, Qin Feng stood out. He used his arm bracers to receive an attack from the city lord and strike the city lord's neck with his saber. As a result, blood sprayed out. He was only a bit off from severing the city lord's neck. But the next moment, the city lord's fury soared and his cane blazed with divine light. Bei Shishi and the others felt as if a huge wave had struck them with such power that it felt like all their bones were shattered. They almost fainted from the impact. Boom. After that, the city lord's cane slammed into Liao Yuhuang's zither, shattering it. Liao Yuhuang then turned as white as a sheet of paper and spat out a mouthful of blood. The light in her eyes scattered. She then fell from the sky. Little slut, get over here. The city lord was so infuriated that he no longer held back. He destroyed Liao Yuhuang's zither with one blow and then reached out for Bei Shishi's neck. Chapter 3162 Purgatory Eyes Power of Destruction Liao Yuhuang's zither was destroyed. Without her power countering the city lord's pressure, and considering that he was now going all out, they felt like they were suffocating. Bei Shishi felt the space around her freeze. Unable to move, she was only able to watch as the city lord's hand reached toward her. Young master Chang Chuan, Qin Feng, and the others all wanted to help, but the pressure was too strong for them to even run over in time. They were all panicking. Scram. Suddenly. Bei Ziyol appeared in front of Bei Shishi. She had never expected him to come running over at such a time. This was no different from sending himself to his death. Ziyol, run. Bei Ziyol formed hand seals. At this moment, his eyes were scarlet red, and traces of blood flowed out of his eyes. However, he completely ignored her and stared at the city lord, his eyes containing a trace of fear but also boundless hatred. As his three flower pupils revolved, Space shuddered. His eyes were already injured, but he was still standing there. Little fellow, since you want to die, I will help you. The city lord sneered and unleashed a single palm at the twisting space before him. As a result, the screen of light that Bei Ziyol had summoned became covered in cracks but didn't shatter. The city lord was surprised by that. He then smiled sinisterly. Interesting. It seems you no longer want those eyes of yours. The city lord pushed harder with his hand. After that, the spatial barrier that Bei Ziyol had summoned with his three flower pupils rumbled, seemingly on the verge of collapse. Seeing this, Bei Ziyol rapidly formed hand seals. His entire body was trembling, and red lines appeared in his eyes. It seemed as if his eyes would explode. Right now, blood was constantly dripping out of his eyes. Ziyol, run. You'll die, roared Bei Shishi. But Bei Ziyol didn't even seem to hear. Boom. Suddenly, 
Space exploded and Bayzayol screamed. A layer of his eyes fell off, and he had no choice but to shut them. You brother and sister are actually quite close. Ha? Huh? Then you can both become my trump card. The city lord laughed and extended his hand. A heaven-encompassing palm reached toward them. However, just at that moment, his expression completely changed. He suddenly found that he couldn't move. At some point, the mark of the three flower pupils had appeared behind him. The three flower petals layered on top of each other, with him at the center. However, it was different from Bayzayol's white light. These three flower pupils were black and contained terrifying destructive power, one that caused the world to shake. It's Long Chen. Startled cries rang out. They saw Long Chen with one eye shut and one eye open. The open eye had the mark of the three flower pupils in it, and it was black as well. After that, light shot out of Long Chen's open eye. At that instant, the web of divine light trapping him had a hole scorched into it, and the formation began to crumble. A ball of lightning then appeared in Long Chen's hand, pulsing like a heartbeat. As it pulsed, the world shook. World Extermination Lightning Radiance The lightning sphere in Long Chen's hand rapidly inflated, instantly devouring the experts of the Blood Kill Hall. Boom! With a final explosion, lightning runes filled the air. Right now, those experts from the Blood Kill Hall, including the Divine Lords, had completely vanished from this world. Only the transportation formation's gate remained. Within the remaining flashes of lightning, a figure wrapped in lightning stepped out. He was like a lightning god, and his footsteps were like thunder in people's ears. Black light flowed within one of Long Chen's eyes. It was bleeding, and his gaze was icy. The Blood Kill Hall's barrier contained divine energy that couldn't be broken. As for the original true feather, it only blocked mental and spiritual energy, and it couldn't unleash attacks. Hence, in the end, Long Chen was forced to unleash the final trump card he had been holding back. He was incredibly angry. This anger stemmed from what the city lord had said about how the High Firmament Academy was an upright force that wouldn't do anything like wiping them out, but if they didn't work for the Blood Kill Hall, Imputa would exterminate them. Kind people were bullied because of their kindness? It was precisely because of this that people stopped being kind, because they didn't dare to. People like that city lord were the worst. The world would only grow more and more evil with people like him present. At this moment, the city lord struggled. The void rumbled intensely, and cracks appeared in space. However, the three flower petals didn't change at all. I told you that you could try me to see if I was out of trump cards, and you really do have gods. You dare to test me. I admire those gods. Long Chen walked through the air. When people looked at the current Long Chen, they all felt a chill. Was he the reincarnation of a god? How could he still have more trump cards? How did he possess the three flower pupils? Were those not something that required a bloodline inheritance? A lower world ascender couldn't possibly possess the immortal world's illustrious three flower pupils. Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen walking over so darkly, Bei Shishi couldn't help whispering his name. Tears then flowed out of her eyes. The three flower petals then shuddered. Countless cracks appeared in the void. But this time, it wasn't caused by the city lord. It was the three flower petals themselves that were compressing space. The mark in Long Chen's eyes also shrank as space compressed more and more. The city lord's expression completely changed. All subordinates of Silver Moon City. Attack. Kill the city lord coughed up blood. His body was cracking under the pressure of the three flower pupils. As they compressed space, a destructive power that existed beyond the heavenly deos invaded his body. His body was corroding rapidly. People were horrified to witness this. The city lord's body was being crushed, and it was now only three feet tall. His body had completely deformed. Good people are used and abused. If standing by Imputa's side isn't wrong, then it isn't wrong for me to kill you either. I'm sure you won't blame me for destroying your silver moon city either, right? You can offend the High Firmament Academy because they're an upright power that won't wipe you out in retaliation. Unfortunately, you ended up offending Boss Long San. Boss Long San is no good person. My memory isn't good, so I don't like holding grudges. I'd rather have all my grudges settled immediately. Everyone who attacked today, I have remembered you. I'll make sure to settle the debts one by one, and I'll start with Silver Moon City. 
Just then, the three flower pupils shrank to the size of a pinpoint. The city lord was unable to even make a sound. The spatial compression crushed him into blood mist. Chapter 3163 The Dean appears The Purgatory Eyes borrowed the triple flower pupils to activate, exterminating the Lord of Silver Moon City. However, Long Chen's eye was instantly filled with pain, and blood poured out of it. He was unable to open it any longer. Long Chen took out an eye patch to cover that eye, but blood continued to leak out. Looking at what happened, everyone was silent. The Lord of Silver Moon City was a monster who had lived for countless years. His cultivation base had reached the late stage Divine Lord realm, but he was still killed by Long Chen without being able to resist. Although it seemed that Long Chen had paid an immense price for it, and it was unknown if he would be able to use that eye of his again, it was still completely terrifying. As for the master of the flying cloud cave that was fighting Baishishi's mother, he had stopped and fled far into the distance. Feeling terrified, even at such a distance, Long Chen could activate a pupil art to lock down the city lord and kill him. How could Zhao Fian not be afraid? Long Chen eyed Zhao Fian and indifferently said, No need to be afraid. The city lord was only caught so easily because he was concentrated on Bei Ziaol. My pupil arts are completely amateur. Even if I used them against you, you could easily escape hearing this. Zhao Fian was even more terrified. Long Chen's tone was completely relaxed, making him feel even more tense. It was as if Long Chen was a bottomless hole. No one could see through him. Boom. Suddenly, the channel that the Blood Kill Hall's experts had condensed exploded, and the divine statue appeared in the air. The might of a world king radiated throughout this place. Ha ha ha. Long Chen. Now you're definitely dead. The killing god statue has descended. Just wait for death. Zhao Fian laughed. Imputa's divine statue had descended. Long Chen sneered. Count your blessings that you aren't a primal. Otherwise, you'd have long since followed the footsteps of the city lord. Even after killing so many divine lords, Long Chen was disappointed to not find any heavenly Tao fruits. Those divine lords weren't primals. But thinking about it, that was a good thing. If these divine lords were also primals, then he would have been dead here. Bei Shishi and the others helped Liao Yu Huang up. After that, Long Chen cupped his fists toward her. He didn't bother saying anything and simply remembered this favor in his heart. Bei Shishi and the others then stood behind Long Chen. The other disciples of the High Firmament Academy also flew over to stand behind him. Even in the face of all these experts, they didn't feel the slightest fear. To be with Long Chen, even if they died today, they felt like they could die with no regrets. In the cultivation world, everyone worshipped the strong. That kind of worship was almost blind. But it was also the kind of worship that made others willing to fight to the death for them. It was difficult to describe. Mom, shouldn't we escape while Imputa has yet to descend? Whispered Bei Shishi. Before her mother could reply, Long Chen shook his head. Our battle has already ended. For the rest of the fight, we are just spectators. Bei Shishi's mother was startled. You know, when I activated the three flower pupils, I sensed it. Ugh, if I had known earlier, I wouldn't have had to do all this. Now, I'm a one-eyed dragon. Long Chen held his painful eye and sighed. What are you talking about? Demanded Bei Shishi. Boom. Just at this moment, Imputa's divine statue glowed and a figure descended from the heavens. That was a furious Imputa, a fatty raging with killing intent. He wasn't very tall and his complexion was rather dark. Even amongst fatties, he was definitely of the most unremarkable kind. However, this seemingly unremarkable person had Darun's flowing inside his eyes, revolving like stars. Just his gaze seemed to possess the power to destroy an entire world. Although it was just a clone, it was thousands and thousands of times stronger than the spiritual wisp that he had adhered to Gui Yun. Seeing him, Countless experts felt sharp pans in their souls. They held their heads and rolled on the ground painfully, unable to resist that pressure. Long Chen, in Puta's row rang out through the world. It was as if the 10,000 Deos were roaring with him. Dad's here, replied Long Chen calmly. Bei Shishi and the others were so nervous that they almost laughed. Just what was wrong with this fellow's head? In Puta's fury soared. He slowly raised his hand, but his expression suddenly changed. 
He twisted his head to look in the other direction. Respected Imputa, are you planning on disciplining the immature disciples of my high firmament academy? If they did something wrong, then this old man was unable to properly raise them. I will apologize to you here. A figure appeared in the air, but this figure was covered in immortal mist, making it impossible to see his face. However, hearing his voice, Long Chen felt that it was a bit familiar. He was unable to remember where exactly he had heard it before. Bei Shishi was delighted to see that figure. It's the Dean. The High Firmament Academy's disciples instantly relaxed. They hadn't expected this matter to even disturb the Dean and make him personally come. The Dean was Bei Shishi's grandfather, so she naturally recognized his voice. After Long Chen had activated the purgatory eyes, he sensed an extremely terrifying expert hiding within the void. Furthermore, he noticed that Bei Shishi's mother was not worried at all. At that moment, he realized that this terrifying expert had to be from the academy, but he hadn't expected the dean to personally come. Apologize? You think you can do that? Your academy's disciple killed my favorite disciple. How are you going to pay for that? Raged Imputa. How about a single hair from my leg? If that's not enough I can add another hair, but that's my limit. Interjected Long Chen nonchalantly. Long Chen. Bei Shishi had an urge to hit Long Chen. The Dean was speaking to a world king. How was it his place to interject? Furthermore, Imputa was enraged, and Long Chen was intentionally provoking him. Was he worried that this matter was not big enough already? However, just then, she blushed because she saw her mother staring at her profoundly. She immediately fell silent and turned away. What are you hitting me for? I gave him enough face. If it was anyone else. I wouldn't even give a single hair, grumbled Long Chen. Do you see? This is the attitude of your High Firmament Academy's disciples. Do you think that my disciple can be killed by others? Raged Imputa. My disciples truly are a bit naughty. This old man will properly teach them once we return. There's no need for the mighty killing god to worry about it, said the dean. What does that mean? Imputa's expression darkened. This old man is simply saying that my academy's disciples are to be taught by me. It's not for others to worry about. And if I want to teach them a lesson, demanded Imputa, his killing intent erupting. Ha ha ha. Then this old man can only accompany the mighty killing god in a few exchanges, laughed the dean. When the dean said this, all the experts felt their hearts clench tightly. If these two were to fight here. Wouldn't this land of the nine prefectures be destroyed? Chapter 3164 The Champion Baelitian You merely possess the body of an immortal king. Do you think that you can block me? Shouted Imputa. Only then did Long Chen and the others learn that the name of their dean was Baelitian, and that his realm was that of an immortal king. However, an immortal king was below a world king. He probably wouldn't be able to stop a world king. If your true body descended then that would definitely be too much for me. But this old man feels that handling a clone should be no problem. However, this old man truly feels incapable. So he brought the high firmament divine sword's sheath. If I accidentally kill your clone, I hope you won't mind, said the dean. Hearing the name of the high firmament divine sword, Imputa's expression once more changed. This was clearly an existence that made him worry. However, the others had never even heard of it. Do you wish to become enemies with me? You wish to declare war against divine venerate Brahma, demanded Imputa. No, no, an old man like myself, challenging a divine venerate? I'm not capable of saying anything for the High Firmament Academy. After all, there are still a group of even older fellows who refuse to rest in peace in the Academy. They stubbornly wish to use the last light of their lives for the Academy. If Sir wishes to give them that chance. I probably won't be able to stop them from sacrificing their lives for the High Firmament Academy the Dean shrugged helplessly. Only now did everyone realize that despite the Dean's polite tone, he wasn't afraid of Imputa's threats at all. You, Imputa was enraged. He looked at the Dean and then at the indifferent Long Chen. A vein throbbed on his forehead. The cool calmness of an assassin that he had cultivated for countless years was still unable to suppress his rage. Seeing Imputa looking at him. Long Chen disdainfully said, What are you looking at? You're just one of Lord Brahma's dogs. You aren't qualified to give orders on his behalf. 
Do you think a war will start just because of you? If the High Firmament Academy really was such a soft target, Lord Brahma would have long since sent a dog like you to handle it. I killed your disciple, and now you cry like I killed your dad. So Gui Yun's life was valuable, but other people's lives are nothing? Only you're allowed to kill others, but others aren't allowed to kill you? Who do you think you are? The heavenly deos of the immortal world. Do you think that you are the law? Then why don't you just ascend? No one's life is more precious than the others in this world. Even if you are skilled at reincarnating in the right place, as long as people work hard, they can still make you reincarnate again. That's why there's the expression, rain follows when the heavens are wild, and calamity follows when people are wild. Thus, it would be better for you to be a bit more low-key. No matter how powerful you are, don't get too arrogant. Youngster, don't be so angry. Go back and properly meditate. See if you can find where you were wrong. Countless people almost coughed up blood. Imputa, an old monster that was practically a living fossil, was actually called a youngster by Long Chen. Well said. Calamity will follow when people are wild. You have no idea just what kind of calamity you have provoked. Your high firmament academy will never have a peaceful day again. My blood kill hall will guarantee this. Imputa snorted and vanished along with his divine statue. He left. Lu Mingxuan stared in disbelief. Imputa had left just like that? If he didn't leave, would he plan on staying for a meal? He doesn't dare to fight here. The longer he stays, the more face he loses, said Long Chen indifferently. With Imputa gone, the world returned to calm. The High Firmament Academy's dean had personally come and driven off Imputa's clone. Everyone finally bore witness to the Academy's methods. No one had known that the High Firmament Academy, which they had thought to have declined to the point that they couldn't rise again, would be able to drive off Imputa's clone. The Academy had usually been bullied by even small sects and simply endured it. But during this Nine Prefecture Convention, this sleeping tiger awoke and bared its fangs. Countless experts were shaken, especially those that controlled the Nine Prefecture Convention. They had a bad feeling. Once Imputa left, the Dean's figure also faded. From the start, he hadn't revealed his true face. Where is Zhao Fian? Ba San has some words to say, shouted Long Chen suddenly, making everyone jump. Everyone looked around and found that Zhao Fian had long since vanished. This fellow had slipped away as soon as he sensed things going wrong. Who cares if you've run? Can you run with your nest? I already said that anyone who attacked today will have their sects personally destroyed by me. Weren't you fine with slaughtering people from the High Firmament Academy, saying that an upright sect like it won't destroy you in retaliation? Do you think good people are easy to bully? Then I'll show you Boss Long San's methods. When I, Long Chen, reach the Four Peak Realm, I will personally visit your sects. Prepare yourselves. If you don't want to die, then you should hurry and run. If you want to die, then just stay there and wait for Boss Long San to come. Countless experts shook in fear. Long Chen was a ruthless person, and no one dared to question his words. He was someone who ignored Imputa's threats and killed his favorite disciple. Was there anything in this world that he didn't dare to do? Furthermore, he had said that he never threatened people. Since he had said it, he was confident that he would do it. They had personally witnessed just how good he was at keeping his word. You can't do that. The people who attacked you were already killed by you. Isn't that enough? As a peak expert, how can you condemn an entire sect because of one person's actions? Shouted someone. Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed. What a huge joke. One person's actions? Don't use such a childish move against me. Those who attacked were incited to do so by Imputa. If they listened to Imputa then their sects must have long since joined Lord Brahma's side. Trying to throw the responsibility onto a few dead scapegoats? You might be able to do that against the High Firmament Academy, but Boss Long San doesn't take that crap. If a person tries to take a bite out of me, I'll make sure to swallow them whole. I already warned you and gave you your chances, but you treated it as nothing more than empty words, instead wanting to take the credit for killing us. When I talk reason with you, you reply with martial might. When I use martial might against you, you wish to talk reason with me. Let me tell you, 
Don't listen to the butterfly spirit race's words about how I'm a good person. Boss Long San is no good person. Although I don't avenge all offenses against me, if someone wants my life, I definitely won't let them off. Let me just say this. When I advance to the Four Peak Realm and your sects haven't disbanded yet, don't blame me for being ruthless Long Chen's icy voice resounded through the battlefield. With the divine might still lingering on the battlefield and the might of his voice, he made them shiver. They all knew that Boss Long San was enraged. The High Firmament Academy was easy to offend but not Boss Long San. Congratulations on winning the championship of the Nine Prefecture Convention. Just at this moment. The Huaian Trading Company's people came over. Chapter 3165 prizes the person in charge from the Huaian Trading Company didn't have a good expression. This was their first time taking charge of such a thing, and the result was completely out of control. When the competition was over, everything should have gone according to the Huaian Trading Company's process. As soon as Long Chen killed Ji Yui Yun and Ku Wuaya, the Martial Dao Convention was over. As the host, they were supposed to keep the order. They were in charge of preventing anyone from making reprisals against the champion, and they should be the ones to stop sneak attacks and such. The Huaian Trading Company lacked the necessary experience in this regard. Furthermore, such a thing had never occurred in the past nine prefecture conventions. That was because the champion was always decided beforehand, so there would be no such conflict. However, this time, Boss Long San had come and ruined their plans, and the end result was this chaotic battle. Although this couldn't be blamed on the Huaian Trading Company, their people were still holding back bellies of anger. Those people that had attacked Long Chen in the end had not given the Huaian Trading Company any face. The person in charge first congratulated Long Chen and then coldly looked at the others. All the sects who attacked Long Chen after the Martial Dao Convention was over. I'm sorry to inform you that starting today, you have been blacklisted by the Huaian Trading Company. You are no longer permitted to carry out any business with the Huaian Trading Company, whether it is buying or selling, including any auctions. This proclamation caused countless expressions to change. It had to be known that the immortal world's greatest trading company was the Huaian Trading Company Noveloon.com. Almost every single sect had some kind of collaboration with them. All their business of buying and selling relied on the Huaian Trading Company, which had a golden reputation. They always treated others fairly and never cheated them. Now that they had offended the Huaian Trading Company, they felt like the world was collapsing around them. Medicinal pills, precious ores, weapons, herbs, and countless other resources were now cut off from them. That also meant that they were cut off from the rest of the world. Furthermore, by stating it directly, they were saying that this included any shady, indirect selling or buying of goods as well. In other words, perhaps some sects would help carry out business for these sects that were now blacklisted. But with the direct statement, even that was forbidden. If they were noticed, they would also be added to the blacklist. Although there were a few other trading companies as well, the majority of them were second rate. Ignoring their low quality goods, the main thing was the lack of trust that could be put in them. Who knew what they might do? Perhaps after accepting a big payment, they might just pack up and run. Thus, any sect with power relied on the Huaian Trading Company for their goods. Only small sects that weren't even qualified to do business with them would go find other trading companies. Finally, these experts' expressions grew ugly. They had neglected the Huaian Trading Company, a force whose influence was on par with Divine Venerate Brahma. They had actually forgotten about this terrifying consequence. First, there was Long Chen saying that he would come to find them once he reached the Four Peak Realm, and then there was the Huaian Trading Company cutting them off. Hence, they despaired. They could only wait for the orders from their higher ups. Countless experts were filled with regret. If they had known this beforehand, they wouldn't have offended Long Chen no matter what. Unfortunately, in this world, there was no medicine for regret. They truly felt foolish now. Long Chen had warned them more than once, but they had sneered at him, treating it as crazy words. Now, they had lit themselves on fire. My apologies. This convention has ended up a complete mess, said the host from the Huaian Trading Company, looking at Long Chen. Sir is too courteous. 
I should be the one apologizing. It is only due to me pulling in the Huaian Trading Company that this happened. I implicated you. I'm truly ashamed. Please tell Brother Xuan Ming that I will remember this favor. Long Chen cupped his fists. This truly couldn't be blamed on the Huaian Trading Company. They were only in charge of business and had no experience conducting such a convention. They had based their hosting according to Silver Moon City's standards. But no one had expected things to devolve to this extent. Hence, hearing this, the host smiled. These words from Long Chen were truly appropriate and comforting. Long Chen's display was truly stunning this time. He had won both the Dao discussion and the Martial Dao conventions. The theory was carried out in practice, and he was the strongest in both. Such a thing had never happened in all of history. He had repeatedly defeated heavenly geniuses, even slaying two supreme monsters one against two in the form of Ku Wuaya and Ji Yuai Yun. This battle truly caused his name to resound throughout the heavens. Even in the face of a world king, he remained arrogant and domineering. However, this existence could still talk so amicably and comfortably to others, without any of that overbearing arrogance. He was not someone who needed to intentionally display his arrogance to carve out his own special status. Moreover, his attitude truly made many people feel comfortable with him. If others stood at that height, they definitely wouldn't be able to act so low-key. Experts only raise their blades against stronger experts. Only weaklings bully the weak. At this time, Long Chen's previous words rang out in their minds once more. The current Long Chen was truly like a normal person. His tone was humble and amiable. Tomorrow, we will carry out the ceremony for the awards. The top hundred heavenly geniuses must accept their prizes. As for the top three, there's no need to make any declaration. Of the top three, two no longer exist in this world. Naturally, of those three, the one who lived was the champion. As for the prizes for second and third, they could only go to Long Chen. That was a rule that had been set since the Nine Prefecture Convention was created. In the deciding battle, if one person died, the other person would take the prize for first and second. However, such a rule had never been put into practice, as no one had ever died in the finals. Long Chen had once more written a new page in history. Everyone returned to Silver Moon City, but now a heavy air of death hung over the city. The city lord had been killed and the Zhao clan that was in charge of Silver Moon City didn't know what to do. There was a Yama king named Long Chen that was residing amongst them right now. The Zhao clan intentionally arranged the most luxurious mansion for Long Chen and the others, but Long Chen ignored them. His attitude made them extremely uneasy. The High Firmament Academy's disciples originally weren't even qualified to enter the city, but they were invited in by the Zhao clan as another expression of goodwill toward Long Chen. As a result, the High Firmament Academy's disciples directly found a place to host a great celebration. Today's battle made them shout with excitement. They had never dreamed that they would ever get to witness such a marvelous battle. These disciples were now complete worshippers of Long Chen. Their eyes had tiny stars when they looked at him. Long Chen was also happy and drank with them. Every time he thought of how he was about to obtain the Golden Dragon Scale. He felt his blood heating up in anticipation. The next day finally came. With the martial stage destroyed, the ceremony was held on top of the Dao discussion stage. When Long Chen arrived, thunderous applause rang out. Long Chen smiled and waved to everyone. However, when he set foot on the Dao discussion stage and saw the golden scale in the transparent case, his expression changed. Chapter 3166 Zhao Clan Courting Death There was a waist-high platform on the Dao discussion stage with a golden case on it. At this moment, the case had runes flowing on top of it, and vague waves of dragon might came from within. This golden case contained the golden dragon scale. Hence, countless people sighed in amazement when they sensed the powerful dragon might. However, when Long Chen arrived, his expression changed. Chin Feng hastily asked, Boss, what is it? Long Chen waved his hand, indicating that it was nothing. He then joined the line with everyone else. After that, the ceremony commenced. Rank 4 to 100 all came up on the stage and received their prizes. Luo Xu excitedly received a treasure item sword as well as a pile of immortal crystals. This was what she had risked her life for. 
So she was naturally excited and proud. Luo Qing, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others were also happy for her. As for Bei Shishi, young master Chang Chuan, and the others, they weren't so happy. After all, treasure items weren't much to them. Bei Ziyol's eyes were still injured, and he was busy recuperating. So his reward was accepted by Bei Shishi on his behalf. Next, we invite the champion, Long Chen, to come accept his reward. The person in charge called out. His voice contained a trace of excitement. It went without saying that the final battle had truly been marvelous. Long Chen slowly walked up. One of his eyes was still covered, so he looked a bit strange. Countless people were worried for him and his injured eye. With the pupil art, Long Chen had slain the city lord. However, he had then paid a terrifying price. If he ended up losing an eye, that would truly be terrible. Long Chen walked onto the stage. His expression wasn't very good, startling the host. The latter then whispered, Long Chen, what is it? The dragon scale in the case has been replaced, said Long Chen darkly. How could that be? That person's expression completely changed. The roaring cheering of the crowd also came to a slow stop. Quite a few people heard their words, and they found it unimaginable. After that, the host immediately ordered someone to open the case. Once it was open, a translucent curtain of light appeared, and there was a palm-sized golden dragon scale lying inside. The golden dragon scale unleashed waves of dragon might. Even through the screen of light, they could feel it. This isn't the golden dragon scale? This terrifying pressure doesn't seem fake though. People stared and found it curious that Long Chen would find it to be a fake. It had to be known that the case was currently covered by a barrier. Only a trace of its dragon might was leaking out. Such a thing was fake? It was emanating so much pressure that many experts felt like they couldn't even breathe. However, people saw that the host's expression was also very ugly. He shouted angrily at one of the other Huaian Trading Company's experts. What are you doing? This is the Golden Resonance Dragon's Reverse Scale, not a true Dragon's Reverse Scale. You let someone run off with it. The host was ashen with rage. They were in charge of this Nine Prefecture Convention. It had already ended up in chaos, losing them face. But now even the reward for first place had been stolen? Wasn't that a vicious slap in the Huaian Trading Company's face? Their reputation was about to plummet. This case was under the supervision of Silver Moon City's Zhao clan. There was a seal on top of it. So we explained that person hastily. Are you joking? You didn't check something this important. The host shouted in rage. This person clearly had too much faith in Silver Moon City. After all, they had collaborated for countless years. He also hadn't expected Silver Moon City to stab them in the back like this. Silver Moon City, you really are interesting. Are you testing my bottom line? Long Chen's expression was dark. He had done all this, offended countless powerful enemies, bled so much blood, suffered so many injuries, and even temporarily lost an eye just for the Golden Dragon scale. However, someone dared to take his treasure away at the last moment. Previously, Long Chen had been giving the Huaian Trading Company a face and restraining himself. Since it was clear that it wasn't done by people from the interior of the Huaian Trading Company, his fury exploded. It seems that you don't want to wait until I advance to the Four Peak Realm. Then I will destroy Silver Moon City right here and now. As Long Chen raised his hand, a flame lotus ignited, instantly swelling. Long Chen then flew up from the Dao discussion stage and stood at the center of Silver Moon City. This area was the business place of the Zhao clan as well as their foundation in Silver Moon City. The Flame Lotus smashed down on that foundation. As a result, all the surrounding buildings were instantly blasted apart. No, countless screams came from within those buildings as the people fled in horror. Long Chen, don't. This has nothing to do with our Zhao clan. The Golden Dragon Scale was originally set to be given to Ji Yui Yun. It has already been taken by them. If you want to get revenge, Go find shouted an expert from within the Zhao clan. Boom. Unfortunately, Long Chen didn't give them any chance to retort. His giant flame lotus smashed down, and everything within this area was incinerated. In front of the azure rainbow flame, those ancient buildings with their grand protective formations appeared incredibly weak. This place was turned into ruins. 
Fortunately, the flames didn't spread further. Long Chen had clearly controlled his power to attack only the Zhao clan's foundation and not harm innocents. Long Chen, you murderer. That golden dragon scale was taken by the blood kill hall. If you have the ability, go find them. To vent your anger on us, you really are a bastard who bullies the weak. Cursed one of the Zhao clan's divine lords while weeping. The foundation that the Zhao clan had accumulated for countless years was now destroyed. Countless treasures were destroyed along with those buildings, and it shattered the Zhao clan's hearts. They wished that they could attack Long Chen right now, but they didn't dare to. Long Chen, you piece of trash, that dog shit image of yours really was convincing. What was that about not bullying the weak? What a hypocrite. Long Chen, you'll face your retribution sooner or later for your heartless slaughter. What kind of ability do you think you have to bully those weaker than you? Go demand the dragon scale from Imputa if you can. The Zhao clan's people furiously cursed Long Chen, but they didn't dare to send themselves to their deaths. Boom. Just then, an explosion came from underground, and flames burst forth. A golden case was then sent flying into the air. After that, the sacred dragon might radiated through the air, shaking people's souls. Could it be? When they saw that golden case, they seemed to realize something. As for the curses of the Zhao clan's experts, they were cut off as if severed by a knife. Did you think you could hide my treasure and cover it from me? Do you think I'm as stupid as you? For stealing my dragon scale, I destroyed your Zhao clan's foundation. If you dare to spout more crap, I'll be forced to rip you out by the roots. Long Chen snorted and waved his hand. After that, the golden case landed in his hands. He finally smiled as if he was relieved from a heavy burden. I finally obtained it. Chapter 3167 Losing the rice to lure the chicken This golden case was identical to the one on the Dao discussion stage. However, this case had countless runes flowing on top of it, and it was still completely sealed. Despite that, it was unable to conceal the waves of dragon might that came from it. That sacred might made other people want to prostrate themselves toward it. Only then did Long Chen see why the dragon scale was stolen. This sacred might was truly different. It was sacred, one that caused everyone else to feel mental pressure. The dragon, the emperor of all beasts, and the true dragon, the king of the dragon race. It was no wonder that these people coveted this treasure. They must be affected by the true dragon might. That feeling of reverence that came from deep within their souls could not be replicated. Zhao clan, you really know how to court death. You actually stole Long Chen's true dragon scale and tried to cover it up. People shook their heads. They definitely have something wrong with their heads. Were they unable to see Long Chen's dragon blood battle armor? Were they unable to hear the resounding dragon cry? Long Chen's cultivation technique is clearly related to the dragon race. They actually thought that they could hide a true dragon scale from him and put the blame on the blood kill hall. They might not have been planning on simply shifting the blame. Perhaps they were thinking of keeping the dragon scale in order to curry favor with the blood kill hall. After all, this was a treasure originally set for the blood kill hall. This dragon scale is equivalent to the majority of the resources accumulated for this generation's nine prefecture convention. It's not something small. Good thing that Long Chen noticed, or we wouldn't have even discovered this dirty trick. They've conned so much money out of us over the years. It really is infuriating. Countless experts privately discussed this matter. While the Zhao clan's experts were left ashen, the other experts scoffed at them without the slightest sympathy. This was all caused by themselves. The fact that Long Chen didn't slaughter them all was the utmost benevolence. Scram. Silver Moon City doesn't welcome you. You trash, ingrates, degenerates. The face of Silver Moon City has been completely lost by your Zhao clan. You were even willing to do such a thing for profit. Boss Long San might have mercy on you, but we won't. You've done such immoral things. If you still don't scram, you might not live to leave Silver Moon City. Curses rained down on the Zhao clan. The Zhao clan was supposed to be the head force in charge of Silver Moon City and all other powers within Silver Moon City were to listen to their orders. Those powers had endured before, but now they had a chance to drive the Zhao clan out. Some of those powers had begun to secretly gather to strike the Zhao clan now that they had declined. They would wipe them out from this world. 
Before this, they were afraid of the power behind the Zhao clan, as they curried favor with Lord Brahma and even had a relationship with the Blood Kill Hall. But now, their foundation had been wiped out by Long Chen, so Lord Brahma no longer had any use for them. The Zhao clan's survival was of no interest to him, so it was time for revenge. As a result, the Zhao clan's people helplessly left the ancient city that they had dominated for countless years. At the same time, many other experts within the city also vanished. The end for the Zhao clan probably wasn't going to be good. Having obtained the dragon scale, Long Chen was so excited that he almost started dancing. With this dragon scale, he could condense the golden dragon battle armor. At that time, who could possibly fight him in the same realm? Congratulations. Congratulations. The treasure was lost and then regained. That can count as an immense fortune, said the host. He wasn't able to cover up his embarrassment. This time, the Huaian Trading Company had lost face. They were extremely angry. When did people start thinking that their Huaian Trading Company was so easy to bully? So many people viewed them as nothing more than empty air. Hence, they would definitely report this to the higher-ups. He, it truly is fortunate. However, this matter can't be blamed on you. After all, you're all businessmen. Businessmen must keep their word, but not everyone has that integrity. Seniors, you simply lacked experience in this regard, said Long Chen. His mood was so good that he no longer cared about the trouble. However, the more Long Chen said that it wasn't their fault, the more awkward the Huaian Trading Company felt. After all, despite them being in charge, things had devolved into such chaos. Their lack of experience was not an excuse. They truly had been thinking too simply in many areas. That was not in accordance with the wisdom and integrity of a businessman. They would have to undergo an internal investigation themselves. After that, Long Chen was asked to continue with the ceremony. The Zhao clan could be said to have done a good thing for Long Chen. They had sent him a free golden resonance dragon reverse scale. Although it didn't come from a true dragon, it was still an extremely terrifying existence amongst the dragon scale. After reaching the golden scale level, its reverse scale was also considered a priceless treasure. In this case, the Zhao family truly lost the rice used to lure the chicken. Their greed caused them to lose their entire possession. Of course, the golden resonance dragon reverse scale also entered Long Chen's pocket, and he put it in the primal chaos space. However, he didn't dare to do the same thing with the true dragon reverse scale. All true dragon reverse scales possessed an arrogant will. The primal chaos space's dignity also could not be provoked. If they were to clash, Long Chen was afraid that the primal chaos space would destroy it. Then he really would cry. Even through the case, he could sense a terrifying sacred might and undying will. That power made his heart shake. He didn't dare to subdue it now. According to ancient records, the Golden Dragon's realm was equivalent to the human race's four-peak realm. The Golden Resonance Dragon's reverse scale was something he dared to directly absorb, but the other reverse scale was from a true dragon, and it was something left behind by the mysterious dragon expert's descendant at that. He had a feeling that if he were to try to absorb it now, its power would directly blast him apart. He still didn't dare to take that risk, nor did he need to. It would be safest if he advanced to the peak of the Divine Flame Realm and then refined the Golden Dragon Reverse Scale. Once he had the Golden Battle Armor, he could face his next tribulation. Last time, he had almost been killed by his tribulation. This Golden Scale would be his trump card for passing his next tribulation. Moreover, he had obtained prizes for second and third place. He then gave them to Luo Qing and Mu Qingyan. Originally, he was planning on giving the prize for second place to Liao Yuhuang, but she suddenly vanished after that battle, not staying to accept her prize or even say goodbye. Thus, Long Chen left it to the two of them. The prizes were a huge amount of immortal crystals as well as their pick from a selection of top-grade treasure items. Mu Qingyan was overjoyed and didn't bother trying to decline, but Luo Qing was very embarrassed. However, she knew Long Chen's character. So she went with Mu Qingyan to pick out a suitable weapon. Even so, she directly refused the immortal crystals, simply tossing them to Long Chen. Hence, Long Chen gave them to Luo Bing and Luo Ning. 
telling them to go buy some weapons that they liked. As a result, they all benefited immensely from this trip. The curtains to the Nine Prefecture Convention fell like this. It wasn't perfect, but countless spectators had profited from witnessing the fights. As for Long Chen's name, it was spreading throughout the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. The name of the champion of the Nine Prefecture Convention wasn't so powerful, but the name of the person who dared to kill Imputa's favorite disciple in front of him was, and this matter shook countless experts. This news passed through countless channels, spreading throughout the entire immortal world. That was precisely what Long Chen wanted. Chapter 3168 News of Zheng Wenlong According to the Convention there were three days of celebration at the end of the Nine Prefecture Convention. The host would entertain all the competitors and the heads of the various sects. However, the Zhao clan had been driven out of Silver Moon City. The Huaian Trading Company did think about organizing the celebration as an expression of apology, but several large powers within Silver Moon City were starting to make moves in secret. They were clearly gathering their forces to take over Silver Moon City. In this kind of strange, tense atmosphere, no one wanted to stay for long. The current Silver Moon City was already a battlefield. Staying here would cause them to be drawn into the war. Before the results were clear, no one wanted to be implicated. Thus, many of the sects that had come directly said goodbye after receiving their prizes and left under the excuse of still needing to do things at home. Of course, another reason they were in such a rush to leave was because Long Chen was here. Who knew whether or not the Blood Kill Hall would suddenly return even stronger? Although the senior generation was in a rush to leave, the juniors were a bit unwilling. They wanted to stay a bit longer. Even an extra gaze at Long Chen would be good. After all, for many of them, they would never get to see such an expert again in their lifetime. However, under the pressure of their seniors, they were dragged away. In just a single day, Silver Moon City became quiet. The atmosphere grew more and more tense, and it felt like a storm was coming. Long Chen ignored all this. He didn't leave immediately because Bei Ziaol was still recuperating. As for the fight over Silver Moon City, it had nothing to do with him. Luo Qing and Luo Xue wanted to leave to report back to the Luo family, but they were stopped by Long Chen. It was too dangerous for them to leave now. Hence. He told them to return with them to the High Firmament Academy first before leaving. Who knew what was going on around Silver Moon City right now? Who knew whether killers from various major powers were lying in wait or not? It had to be known that Long Chen had offended countless people this time. So they had no choice but to be cautious. Just as everyone was waiting for Bei Ziaol to recover, Long Chen was asked to go visit the Huaian Trading Company. Xuan Ming received him first apologizing for what had happened at the end of the Marshall Dao Convention. They had handled this matter badly and were ashamed. Long Chen smiled and assured him that he felt no offense. He didn't blame the Huaian Trading Company for this matter. After all, he was the one who had made them take charge of something they had no experience with. In any case, at the very least, the Nine Prefecture Convention was fair, upright, and impartial. With that, the Huaian Trading Company would be in a good position to continue hosting the Nine Prefecture Convention. Everyone trusted them to continue being fair. Otherwise, things would slowly go back to the old way. After all, money was the mover of hearts. Greed was an unconquerable devil for humanity. I have a piece of good news for you. We have found Zheng Wenlong, said Xuan Ming. Really Long Chen was delighted to hear that. It has been confirmed that he came from the same continent as you. Furthermore, he was chosen by the wealth god to be blessed. However, he's still immersed in the divine blessing and cannot leave for now. It is predicted that it will be completed half a year from now. At that time, it will be possible to transmit word from you to him, said Xuan Ming, with a flicker of reverence in his eyes. Clearly, Zheng Wenlong was viewed extremely highly by the wealth god. Then I'll entrust this to Brother Xuan Ming. I'll be returning to the High Firmament Academy soon. Our cooperation I understand. We'll send our people from the Martial Heaven Prefecture to receive you. No matter what you need, you won't have to even leave your door. You can directly call us, said Xuan Ming. Many thanks. To tell the truth, the Huaian Trading Company is very important to me. As my cultivation base grows, 
I'll need to work together with you more and more. You are my trustworthy backer, said Long Chen. Ha ha ha, brother Long is joking. A client with limitless potential like you is someone I can entrust my livelihood to. I should be the one thanking you, laughed Xuan Ming. Xuan Ming truly admired Long Chen. At such a young age, he already had such a terrifying power. He had won both the Tao discussion and the martial Tao conventions. Such a thing had never occurred before. However, he still treated Xuan Ming the same as before. Even in the face of a world king, Long Chen dared to look down on him fearlessly. Yet he was still easy to get along with. In all his years, Xuan Ming had never encountered someone like that. Xuan Ming even specifically asked Long Chen what he needed right now. And while Long Chen did require a few things, he shook his head because he saw that Xuan Ming was still trying to make up for what had happened at the Martial Dao Convention. After all, the Huaian Trading Company had helped him out with the Nine Prefecture Convention, and blaming them for what had happened was wrong. After discussing some further details with Xuan Ming, Long Chen returned to his residence. The third day after the convention ended, Bei Ziaol finally woke up, but somehow, blue light appeared in his eyes. When Bei Shishi's mother saw that blue light, she exclaimed, Congratulations, Ziaol, you've finally awoken your primal bloodline. Really? But I don't feel anything. And why do I see multiple of you? Bei Ziaol jumped up. When people saw his eyes, they laughed. Their images were multiplied in his eyes, making him dizzy. What are you laughing at? You're seeing double because you're cross-eyed right now. It's a normal phenomenon when the three flower pupils bloodline awakens. You'll be fine after a few days. Comforted Bei Shishi's mother. The way Bei Ziaol had protected Bei Shishi at the end was a very gratifying sight for her. Although he was still a child, he was a real man inside. It was precisely because he had dared to face death at that moment that his potential had erupted. Awakening his primal bloodline, he was no longer the old Bei Ziaol. His cultivation path truly started now. Ziaol, thank you. Bei Shishi came over to Bei Ziaol. She was full of emotion. She thought back to how he had risked his life to protect her. You're too courteous. In any case, you're going to be my boss's bed warmer. So doing this much for boss's only natural Aya Bei Shishi grabbed the screaming Bei Ziaol and threw him out the window. With Bei Ziaol awake, Long Chen brought everyone to say goodbye to Xuan Ming. The major powers within Silver Moon City then sent them off with a strangely warm goodbye. A flying boat set off, carrying hundreds of thousands of disciples from the High Firmament Academy. In just less than an incense stick's worth of time flying, Mu King Gaian cried out upon spotting something outside the window. Take a look. Chapter 3169 The weak are prey to the strong everyone's attention was drawn over. They saw that there was a pile of ruins on the ground below. Mountains had been crushed and streams had turned into lakes. There were corpses everywhere. It's the Zhao clan's people, exclaimed Lu Mingxuan, recognizing their robes. Long Chen looked at those corpses as if he had expected them. He indifferently said, there's nothing strange about it. The weak are prey to the strong. This is the cultivation world. Where there are people, there are grudges. Where there are grudges, there is killing. The Zhao clan has dominated Silver Moon City for countless years and suppressed the other powers. Those powers had to pay yearly tributes to them just to be bullied. Considering that Silver Moon City was hosting the Nine Prefecture Convention, they must have consumed a great deal of the profits while those powers could only watch resentfully. Now that the Zhao clan has fallen, those people will naturally settle their debts with them. They'll avenge those enmities. The Zhao clan's main force is gone, and all their businesses will be fought over in the next few days. They really were courting death to have dared to steal the golden dragon scale. Even the Lord of Silver Moon City was slain by Boss. Boss didn't feel like casting his anger on them, but they actually dared to use such a dirty trick. Courting death, said Chin Feng disdainfully. He looked at those corpses on the ground without the slightest sympathy. Now that we left, Silver Moon City will probably devolve into a storm of blood as the powers within try to fight for the position of City Lord. If they want to be the Overlord, they have to bring out absolute power that shakes others. Most likely, the price of that intimidation will be countless lives. Only after their lost will things calm down, sighed Long Chen. 
Why are you talking like some wise old man now? Have you forgotten how brainless you were when you went crazy? Demanded Lu Mingxuan. The current Long Chen seemed to have regained his previous wisdom. He seemed calm and tranquil. Lu Mingxuan even suspected that he had been replaced or possessed at that time. Seeing Lu Mingxuan's disdainful gaze, Long Chen rolled his eyes. Everyone can understand the logic, but actually doing it is another matter. When my blade slices through other people's blades, I can still be calm. But if their palm were to strike my face, how could I endure? All I can do is use my blade against my enemy no matter who they are. Are you saying that everything you said on the Tao discussion stage is useless? Asked Lu Mingxuan. Whether or not it's useful depends on yourself. There are no absolute rights or wrongs in this world. No set limits or yardsticks to measure yourself perfectly. If you encounter someone who talks reason, you can talk reason with them. If you encounter someone who doesn't talk reason, talk with your fists. Do you think talking reason is so amazing? If it was, then idiots like those from the Chu family, Young Master Wuji, Ku Wuaya, Ji Yu Yun, and the others would have been reformed, don't you think? So sometimes, you can listen to principles, but don't take them too seriously. Also, most of what I said was just some nonsense I made up, said Long Chen. If your worshippers heard that, they die of rage, said Lu Mingxuan, not knowing whether to laugh or cry. What worshippers? They worship strength. They feel that controlling power allows them to control everything, said Long Chen. Is that not the case? retorted Lu Mingxuan. Of course not. Some things cannot be controlled by power, said Long Chen. For example, for example, I want to turn you into a pure hearted maiden, said Long Chen. Hearing this, Lu Mingxuan instantly corrected her posture and put on a very maidenly and virtuous affectation. Am I not a pure hearted maiden? We haven't known each other long enough for you to see the real me. You don't know how deep I am, and I don't know the long and short of you. Don't you think it's presumptuous for you to make such a judgment? Seeing her profound expression, Long Chen shivered. He got goosebumps and could only spit out, You dirty girl. Bei Shishi and the others acted as if they didn't understand what she just said because any reaction would tell others that they did understand, and that they were as dirty as Lu Mingxuan. They had suffered many losses against Lu Mingxuan. Hence, every time they spoke to her, they would have to carefully reflect on her words before saying anything. If there was a question that they couldn't answer though, they would choose to simply ignore it. Time passed on the flying boat. A bit after the flying boat passed through this area, two figures in the air appeared. One of them was Bei's Han Tang, while the other was Bei Ziaol's mother. What a group of cowards. Even now, they don't dare to attack. I've been waiting a long time. Bei's Han Tang sighed disappointedly. The Dean has personally shown himself and driven away in Puta's clone. So those experts have probably received in Puta's orders and given up. Comforted Bei Ziaol's mother. Cowards. They don't dare to come out just because of that. Bei's Hantang glared in the direction of Silver Moon City. Are you jealous because Long Chen got to show off and you didn't? Laughed Bei Ziaol's mother. Bei's Hantang turned red and said, There's no such thing. Who do you think I am? Would I care about such a minor accomplishment? I, I just feel like those rabbits hiding in the darkness need a lesson. Hearing this, Bei Ziaol's mother simply smiled, and Bei's Hantang's face became even redder. He angrily said, my son was already conned into being his little brother. You think I can just watch as he seduces my daughter as well? I need to at least display my power so that Brad knows that I'm not some weakling. But those bastards refuse to show themselves. So I don't get a chance. Isn't that infuriating? Why? You don't think Long Chen is good enough? Asked Bei Ziaol's mother. No. But that little fellow is really disagreeable. After all. After all. That bastard punched me before, said Bei's Hantang. Hearing that, Bei Ziaol's mother laughed. It seemed that Bei's Hantang still held a grudge. Just how old are you? You're going to quibble with a child? What if he does become your son-in-law one day? If he's a bastard, what does that make you? Are you not cursing yourself? TCH, let's not talk about such vexing things. I'll go inform the other brothers to leave. Imputa really is a coward. He doesn't even dare to exchange blows. Hmm. I haven't seen my father fight in so long. 
no one gives him a chance to do so. After grumbling some more, the two of them vanished, leaving behind only an echo of laughter from Bezaiol's mother. Chapter 3170 Lacking morals led to smoke at the same time as Long Chen was on the way back to the High Firmament Academy. News of what had occurred at the Nine Prefecture Convention spread throughout the world like lightning. A very large reason why this news could spread so quickly was because the Huaian Trading Company was entrusted by Long Chen to spread this news far and wide. At that time, Xuan Ming jumped in shock when Long Chen was asking him to do this. The Huaian Trading Company was spread throughout the entire immortal world. Spreading this information would draw the attention of countless experts and some monsters would be setting their gazes on Long Chen. In the immortal world, the greater a person's fame, the more challengers they would have. That was because the fastest way of gaining fame was defeating someone even more famous. As the influence of the Huaian trading company was truly immense, the news that Long Chen had killed Imputa's disciple would definitely cause a ruckus. Long Chen would probably face countless challengers once this word reached them. Xuan Ming warned Long Chen about this and to reconsider, but Long Chen said the greater the ruckus, the better. That was precisely what he wanted. Since he was so sure, Xuan Ming quickly arranged things. The Huaian Trading Company had their own information network. When they wanted to announce something, the speed at which it spread was unimaginable. The entire immortal world received this news in no time at all. Imputa was a figure with a great deal of fame even considering the entire immortal world. For someone to kill his favorite disciple right in front of him was truly major. Hence, Long Chen's name spread throughout every corner of the nine heavens and ten lands. Ha ha ha. I knew that I would get word of you soon. You even killed Imputa's disciple? You have gods. Ha ha ha. A long-haired man with a bow on his back was flying through the air on a flying sword. He was handsome with a trace of baby fat still remaining on his lower chin. He held a photographic jade, and seeing the video inside, he laughed. This person was Mo Nian. If Long Chen saw the current Mo Nian, he would definitely feel shocked. The current Mo Nian's aura was deep and heavy. His gaze was electric. He had reached the mid-four peak realm. As for the bow on his back, it possessed an astonishing aura. As he sped through the air, the vague roaring of ancient beasts could be heard from the bowstring. You bastard, if you have gods, stand still. Let's see if I can beat your balls out right now. As Mo Nian flew through the air, not that far from him were countless experts chasing and cursing him. Just how did our Guanlong Huo family offend you? You dared to rob our ancestral graves. I'll definitely tear you apart if I catch you. Stop right there. You can't get away. After offending our Huo family, don't even think about escaping the Yeohua prefecture. There were hundreds of divine lords cursing Mo Nian. However, Mo Nian seemed to be deaf to their cries. Even the late stage divine lords were completely ignored by him. Little fellow, not bad. You have such power in the divine flame realm? What would happen if you reach the four peak realm? You're still as tough as always. But what's with those beggar clothes? Well. Your status will definitely soar after this. No good. I have to work hard. On the Martial Heaven continent, you always suppressed me. Here in the immortal world, you have to be the one following me. It's rare for the heavens to give me a chance to flip the scales. I have to grasp this chance and not let him catch up. Seeing Long Chen's battle against Ku Wuya and Ji Yui Yun, Mo Nian muttered to himself. Suddenly, he turned around and shouted to the people behind him. Hey. Stop chasing me. Even if you can catch up, you can't beat me. Just tell me if you have any enemies and if those enemies have some interesting tombstones. I'll help you get revenge. Okay. Sharp sword will fill the air of a lofty, towering mountain. At the peak of this mountain was a sword, and it was pointed at the heavens. Millions of stars revolved around it. However, when the sunlight fell on the ground, that giant sword vanished. Instead, there was only a collapsed world. From the bottom looking up, it was like they were seeing a volcano erupt with such power that the laws of spastime were broken. It formed a current exploding into the heavens. From the top looking down, it was like millions of swords had condensed into a starry river sword that stabbed into the earth. The will of the sword Dao continuously destroyed the laws of the world. Within this domain, no other deos could enter. No other laws could interfere. 
All there was was the wool of the sword. Buried sword peak. Legend was that this was where the sword ancestor had buried his sword. This ancestor of the sword Dao was one of the desolate era's divine ancestors. It was a terrifying existence. But anything relating to the desolate era was muddled and unclear. According to the texts, the immemorial era was the start of the cultivation world. So it was called the starting era. In other words, only in the immemorial era did cultivation start. It was said that all the cultivation techniques and battle skills of that time were the most primitive, embryonic forms. So much time had passed that everything was muddled. However, the desolate era was even farther back. It was an era of chaos, where the human race was at the bottom of the food chain. There were no written records of what life was like back then. Only some ancient murals depicted just how difficult things were back then. The desolate era was the time of the wild beasts. Humanity barely existed between the cracks. It was said that the Jiuli, Heaven Eye, Violet Blood, and other ancient races could be traced back to the immemorial era, but any further back was impossible to trace because there were no records for them to follow. As for Buried Sword Peak, it came from the desolate era's sword ancestor. This legend was almost impossible to believe, but no one dared to question it. Buried Sword Peak was a sacred land within the nine heavens and ten lands. Throughout the billions and billions of years of the immortal world's history and fighting, no one had dared to challenge Buried Sword Peak. It was a holy land for sword cultivators. Whoever dared to blaspheme Buried Sword Peak would be offending every sword cultivator in the world. It was said that the sword ancestor comprehended the sword Tao in the desolate era, and due to a lack of diagrams and language, there was no one capable of comprehending this sword Tao for tens of thousands of years. Hence, the sword ancestor ended up burying himself with his sword, merging his soul into the sword Tao, offering the sword Tao to all cultivators to comprehend. As long as sword cultivators still existed, the will of the sword ancestor would not be erased. It would forever exist in this world. Countless sword cultivators came to Buried Sword Peak to pay homage, but the majority of them were of limited aptitude and could only stay at the bottom of the mountain. If they could reach the waist of the mountain, they would be accepted in Buried Sword Peak Gate, and sword experts would give them pointers on the sword Tao. At the peak of the mountain were nine sets of steps, and this was the ultimate training land on Buried Sword Peak. On the third staircase was a man with a sword on his back, looking at the photographic jade in his hand. His hand, which was normally as steady as rock, was trembling. Boss, Ziffen will soon find you, looking at the figure in the photographic jade. Yu Ziffeng's eyes turned misty. After a year, he finally obtained some information about his boss. Taking a deep breath, Yu Ziffeng stepped onto the fourth staircase. In that instant, overbearing sword chi slashed down on him from every direction. He was instantly drowned by that endless sword chi. Chapter 3171 Old Friends of the Martial Heaven Continent 1. Boss, it's been a year. I finally got some news from you. Hot tears spilled out of Guo Ran's eyes as he looked at the photographic jade in his hand. He had matured a great deal, and his gaze was now firm and unswerving. He no longer had his old slippery, wily appearance. In one year, in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, he had experienced a great deal. Once Zikai Ankian brought him in, he no longer received any further help from her. He knew his own shortcomings. He wasn't independent enough. Upon arriving in the immortal world, he found that without Long Chen, he was trash. He didn't want to stay trash, and he wanted to stand on his own. Hence, this one year, he had suffered many troubles and trials. It was precisely due to this that he had been forcibly tempered into a man of steel. Earth Master, the squad has been assembled. We are ready to join the battlefield at any time. An armored expert walked in and respectfully bowed to Guo Ran. Guo Ran solemnly put away the photographic jade and said, Instruct our brothers to get into peak condition. Our goal is to turn the Aldeval Starfield into a river of blood. Earth Master, that's the domain of Heaven Masters. It's inappropriate for us to go there. There's nothing inappropriate about it. I'm only one exam away from being a Heaven Master. The next exam is in three months. And I can't wait that long. We must kill even more devil beasts even stronger ones, then we can get more resources. After only getting soup for so long, 
Aren't you in the mood for some meat? Yes, but for so many of us to go will cause some dissatisfaction amongst the other heaven masters. Furthermore, those devil beasts are all at the divine lord realm. Some will even be in the late stage. If something happens, who cares about the dissatisfaction of the other heaven masters? They don't have any real ability and simply occupy that area for nothing. We are going to display our might. Starting today, we are going to eat meat too. No one can stop us. Three months is too long. As for the danger, everything is dangerous. Boss ever said that opportunity lies within danger. Someone who doesn't take risks won't get wealthy. If we continue to simply line up behind them, we'll only get to eat their crap. Stop wasting words and send out my orders. Yes, that person turned around and left. After that, Guo Ran gripped the photographic jade and muttered to himself. Boss, I've received the news. Wait a bit longer. Once my devil dragon battle armor reaches completion, I'll come find you. Instructor Xia Chen, the exam is coming up. As the examiner, you have to get there in advance. Within the spirit rune pavilion, Xia Chen stood in his own loft, holding a photographic jade. It's been a year. I've been asking around for so long, but I finally have some news from you. Boss, brothers of the Dragonblood Legion, are you still well? Upon looking at the photographic jade in his hand, Xia Chen's mind was filled with images of the Dragonblood warriors gathering once more. During this year, every time he slept, he would be woken by a nightmare of seeing the Dragonblood warriors dying. In that nightmare, his formation discs failed, and when he tried to form hand seals, he found that his hands were frozen. He could only watch as his brothers died. He swore not to let history repeat itself. In this one year, he managed to step by step climb his way out from being a worker to the throne of the Spirit Rune Pavilion's number one member of the junior generation. Even the selection of disciples was something he was qualified to participate in. He was no longer the worker that was shouted at. He could also be said to be an influential figure in his area. Just like Long Chen, he had tried to spread his name so that the Dragonblood Legion could gather once more. Today, he was so emotional that he almost wept. He wanted to tell Long Chen. Boss, Xia Chen was useless back then. But I won't let history repeat itself. I will definitely protect every Dragonblood warrior. Instructor Xia Chen. The disciple reporting to him called out when he saw that Xia Chen didn't react to him. I know. Xia Chen waved his hand. Taking a deep breath. He wiped a tear away from the corner of his eye. Boss. Wait for me. I'll find you soon. I won't disappoint you again. Xia Chen clenched his fists and looked into the distance. A terrifying roar split the air. This was a ferocious devil beast the size of a mountain, and it had already reached the level of a divine lord. However, its roar was cut off by a giant fist to the head. Following that, a giant bit into its neck, devouring its blood. That giant's blood chi then soared crazily. He was even bigger than a mountain. This giant was wild. Wild had two horns on his head, and they were covered in golden marks now. Spots had also appeared on his forehead. A thousand miles away stood two large men that were observing him. Although they had hidden their blood chi, blood-colored runes flickered in their eyes. It was as if those eyes were capable of piercing through the cosmos. That Long Chen should be the one mentioned by the king. Should we tell him? Said one of the men, looking at a photographic jade gravely. Wilde had been here for a year, but he was extremely disobedient. He kept shouting that he had to find his brother Long, and his temper only grew worse. It seemed that he had started to grow resentful toward them. Although they were from the same race and they naturally wouldn't harm him, Wilde seemed to think that since they wouldn't let him find Long Chen, they weren't on his side. Only Long Chen was on his side. Let's take it slowly. Compared to our king, Long Chen is too weak. He's not fit to call our king brother. Furthermore, his king blood divine radiance has yet to manifest and the blood barbarian race's life crest has yet to awaken. We still can't see the future of our king. Letting him out now is too dangerous. The path to be a king is too slow. We can only discuss this later, said the other one. But the king is growing more and more hostile toward us. This isn't a good thing. Furthermore, he has declined to leave behind his bloodline with the ladies of our race. What are we supposed to do? The king should have long since matured and be able to reproduce. 
but his intelligence hasn't grown in that regard. The legends did say that the purer the bloodline, the lower the intelligence. This king of ours really is foolish, so his bloodline must be shockingly pure. Perhaps it might return to the immemorial bloodline. In any case of, uh, we can only keep watching. Once he awakens the blood barbarian's crest and can protect his life. If he is still causing such a ruckus, we'll send people out with him for training I suppose. Just watching him like this is no solution. Watching him squatting down and devouring that beast. The two of them shook their heads. They had told him a million times to first circulate his blood chi and activate his blood runes before consuming meat. That would allow him to absorb the meat much easier. But Wilde never remembered. Chapter 3172 Old Friends of the Martial Heaven Continent. 2. This was a tranquil forest with towering trees that covered up the sky. This was a world of constant night. The domain of the moon howling heavenly wolf race. Other life forms didn't dare to take half a step into this domain because they would be mercilessly killed. This race's domineeringness and protectiveness were well known within the entire immortal world. At the peak of a mountain was a giant wolf whose whole body was white. It was lying on the ground, and behind it was a blood-colored moon. It simply hung there, motionless. That moon was the sacred inheritance of the moon-howling heavenly wolf race. As its light fell on this world, it nourished the snow wolf. This snow wolf seemed to be slumbering as if in a mother's embrace. Blood mist slowly entered its body. This was naturally little snow. Back then, when the nine underworld hunters descended and attacked, little snow was sent through the immortal palace to the immortal world. Those nine underworld hunters were killed by Long Chen, but others discovered little snow. And when they realized that little snow was from the moon howling heavenly wolf race, they were terrified. They hastily sent Little Snow away. At that time, Little Snow was injured badly, so they didn't dare to tarry. If Little Snow died in front of them and the moon howling heavenly wolf race discovered this, they would be doomed. They weren't even looking for the moon howling heavenly wolf race to thank them and owe them a favor. They only hoped that their relationship didn't worsen. Thus, they sent Little Snow over immediately. However, even the moon howling heavenly wolf race was unaware that their wolf emperor egg had fallen into the lower plane, which little snow had then taken over. It was no wonder that they were unable to find it even after searching throughout the entire immortal world. After that, the ancestral patriarch of the moon howling heavenly wolf race used a divine ability to search through little snow's memories. When he found that little snow was nothing more than a scarlet flame snow wolf from the mortal world, he was shocked. He had no idea how it was possible for it to have merged with the wolf emperor's egg. The true wolf emperor had already died, and little snow was now in control of its body. This was simply not possible. How could a soul from the mortal world possess the body of the wolf emperor? However, even if the soul was not the original, it did not change the fact that little snow was now the descendant of the wolf emperor. Even if it was a human in control of this body they would still have become a member of the moon howling heavenly wolf race. This secret was only known by the patriarch of the race. He didn't divulge this to anyone. He was standing in the distance, watching quietly as Little Snow absorbed the essence of the moon. He then smiled. Little Snow was now the greatest hope of the moon howling heavenly wolf race. He felt much better about the future. Patriarch, we've finally found word of that Long Chen, reported a middle-aged man. Oh, you found him. The patriarch was a bit surprised. Having investigated Little Snow's memories, he knew that Long Chen was the person that Little Snow wanted to find the most. With no other choice, the patriarch had been forced to use a formation to seal Little Snow and have it fall into a deep slumber so that it could absorb this essence without any worries. They had been searching for Long Chen for a long time, but they had no branches. They were all concentrated here. Because of it, they had little contact with the outside world. It had been a year since they had started looking without any results. However, the patriarch had long since expected this. The immortal world was huge, and they didn't have a good information network. Finding Long Chen was like finding a needle in the ocean. He hadn't had much hope. After a year, he had almost forgotten about this matter. But they had actually found him. The middle-aged man handed a photographic jade to him. This Long Chen is not bad. 
He actually killed Imputa's disciple right in front of him. He's a real man. The patriarch looked at the photographic jade. When he saw Long Chen fight Ji Yui Yun and Ku Wuya, an expression of shock slowly appeared on his face. Patriarch, did you also recognize his terrifying potential? Asked the middle-aged man. The patriarch took a deep breath and shook his head. His potential is one thing. This little fellow is a nine-star heir. What? Impossible. How can a nine-star heir use other cultivation techniques? His aura is also completely different. Considering our deep ties with the nine-star heir, how could I not tell? Demanded the middle-aged man. The patriarch continued watching. He paid special note to the way Long Chen held his black saber and arrogantly looked down on all others. This gaze is definitely the same. I don't know what's the case with his cultivation technique, but with that gaze, I am sure he is a nine-star heir. His tone was extremely confident. If Long Chen was present, he would definitely be shocked. Even such a thing could sell him out? No wonder he was so stubborn as to kill Ji Yui Yun even when Imputa appeared. That really is in line with a nine-star heir's character. Patriarch, if he's a nine-star heir and hasn't been discovered by the nine underworld hunters, why don't we bring him here? The patriarch waved his hand. Long Chen created his own cultivation technique to cover up the aura of his real cultivation technique. Even his manifestation has changed. It's enough to trick others. Nine star heirs live to fight. Like a kunpeng soaring into the heavens and breaking free of all restrictions. He must maintain this sharpness. If he was brought here for a peaceful life, his will would regress. I always wondered why our emperor's egg would fall into the lower plane. It seems that everything was thanks to fate. From Little Snow's memories, I also saw a fellow with the blood barbarian's king blood and a girl with the mark of the original devil race. Now that I think about it, he, I understand, is that old sweeping fellow from the High Firmament Academy still alive? Yes, good. If he could allow a nine-star heir to join, then he will definitely protect him. Long Chen is in no danger. After a moment's thought, the patriarch added, Wake up Little Snow tomorrow. Tell her the news of Long Chen and that if she wants to join him, she must awaken the Blood Moon manifestation understood. The middle-aged man left. The patriarch looked at Little Snow in the distance and suddenly laughed. The day has finally come. This world is going to change. The moon howling heavenly wolf race is finally going to welcome the dawn of a new era. Chapter 3173 Old Friends of the Martial Heaven Continent 3. In a dark corner stood a delicate figure, holding a photographic jade. Seeing that familiar figure, she couldn't stop her tears from dripping down. She was Dong Mingyu. After joining the dark sect, she had become a titular disciple of the sect master, Yi Wusheng. They had an agreement. Only once she personally cut off Imputa's head and gave it to her would she be qualified to call her master and become her true disciple. Yi Wusheng was the master of the dark sect, but she had never accepted any personal disciple. The dark sect was filled with countless geniuses, but not one of them had entered her eyes, let alone a real disciple. She hadn't even had any titular disciples before Dong Mingyu. She was the only one. In one year, Dong Mingyu had undergone the harshest training. Her perseverance and determination moved even the icy Yi Wusheng. However, being moved only caused her to increase the difficulty of her disciples' training. That training wasn't something a human could endure. But Dong Mingyu never complained. Nor did she ever give up. She persevered. There were countless times when her life was in danger during that training. However, her heart was still like water. It was only when she saw this photographic jade that she hid in a corner and wept. Big Brother Long Chen, I can finally see you again. Tears streamed down her face. In this entire world, Long Chen was the only person she considered family. It was Long Chen who had dragged her out of that dark world and shown her the light. He was what had shown her what warmth was. Amongst all of Long Chen's lovers, Dong Mingyu was the one who felt the most particular about Long Chen. She felt a dependence on Long Chen that could not be described. As an assassin, you are allowing something to rattle your Dao heart and affect your emotions. If an enemy was lying in wait, they would have a much higher chance of assassinating you in this state. A woman's ephemeral voice rang out within the darkness, and she appeared without making a sound. 
Her skin-tight black clothes and leather boots hugged her beautiful curves closely. She was like a leopardess hiding in the dark, beautiful and dangerous. She appeared completely naturally, like an emissary of the dark, coming and going without a sound. Sect Master, didn't you say that every person has their own fate, and once it is grasped, there is no escape? He is my fate. All my efforts are for him. He is my everything. Dong Mingaya wiped away her tears. This woman was precisely the terrifying assassin that made countless people quiver just by hearing her name. Yi Wusheng Noveloon.com Yi Wusheng shook her head slightly and slowly squatted down. A pair of beautiful eyes stared at Dong Mingyu in the darkness. An assassin must be emotionless. Well, that's just the view of those debased people. If a person had no emotions, they would have no desires and no drive to move forward. This Long Chen isn't bad. He has immense potential but he's still in the divine flame realm. His cultivation speed is too slow. On the other hand, you've reached the mid-four peak realm, but I've focused on teaching you my assassination arts, not increasing your realm. For Long Chen to still be so far behind, he'll probably be cast far behind you in the future. Sect Master, you don't understand him. His talent is unparalleled. If he wanted to increase his realm, he'd definitely catch up in an instant. Even if his cultivation is slow, it doesn't mean anything. Once I kill Imputa and accomplish Master's mission, I will go find him. I will spend a lifetime protecting him. A rare sweet smile appeared on Dong Mingyu's face, one that made her seem like a completely different person than her normal icy self. You have such confidence in him, asked Ji Wusheng. Of course. He is the strongest Dong Mingyu nodded. Will he surpass you? Definitely how can my disciple be surpassed by others? Starting today, I'm giving you special lessons. Go find your senior apprentice brothers and sisters of the spirit generation. I'm going to bring you to the dark wind domain, said Yi Wusheng icily. Sect master, Dong Mingyu jumped in shock. The spirit generation of disciples were all divine lords. She was going to be pulled into a training exercise with them? Go. Yes. Just like that. Yi Wusheng and Dong Mingyu vanished into the darkness. Master, master, I've found news of that fellow Long Chen. Tang Wan'er, who was dressed like an imperial princess in all white, ran through a palace, shouting with a photographic jade in her hand. Within this hall was a beautiful woman who looked like she had walked out of a painting. Immortal mist revolved around her. She was sternly rebuking a group of disciples. But when Tang Wan'er ran in, she didn't chide her. Instead, she gave her a pampering smile. Those disciples were covered in sweat from being rebuked. But when Tang Wan'er walked in, it was like they saw their saving star. Relieved from a heavy burden, they almost wept from emotion. That Long Chen you're constantly talking about. The woman smiled. She was Tang Wan'er's master, Feng Xinayu. Contrary to other experts, she had no sect her origins were mysterious. No one knew where she had learned her skill or where she came from. She had been famous in the immortal world for countless years. Ever since she appeared, she had fought countless powerful enemies. All those experts were defeated or killed. She had also roved throughout the majority of the immortal world, defeating all those who challenged her. She had always been a solitary figure, but for some reason, in the last few centuries, she had started to accept disciples, all of the wind attribute. However, her character was rather strange, and she only accepted the disciples that she found. Some people went to find her, but her residence was at Wind Peak Island. It was an island on top of a cliff. From a distance, it looked like a mushroom growing into the clouds. Wind Peak Island was surrounded by twisted space with countless wind blades whirling around. Even treasure items would be ground to dust by those wind blades, let alone a human. Feng Xinayu only had a few hundred disciples, but every single one of them was a terrifying wind element expert. Just 80 years ago, she had stopped accepting new disciples. However, then she suddenly brought back Tang Wan'er, saying that she was her final disciple. She pampered her, practically treating her like her own daughter. Furthermore, Tang Wan'er was quite obedient and hardworking, although she was a bit naughty usually. That only made Feng Xinayu like her even more. Thus, no matter what kind of fuss she caused, Feng Xinayu never punished her. 
by running in while Feng Xinaya was in the midst of chiding the other disciples. Tang Wan'er saved them from their chiding. Hence, those senior apprentice brothers and sisters were all grateful. Tang Wan'er had also helped them out quite a bit in similar fashions, so they loved her as well. Yes, yes, it's that fellow. He killed Imputa's final disciple right in front of him, exclaimed Tang Wan'er. When she said this, those disciples were all shocked. Even Feng Xinaya was moved. Let Master take a look. Chapter 3174 Old Friends of the Martial Heaven Continent 4. How domineering, how wild. Junior Apprentice Sister, this Long Chen of yours really is a dragon amongst man. He has a special manly flavor, said one of Tang Wan'er's senior apprentice sisters. It doesn't seem like he's doing so well though. Look at his rotten clothes a senior apprentice brother pointed at Long Chen's clothes. However, when those worn down, patched clothes were pointed out, Tang Wan'er wept, causing her fellow disciples to jump. That's Junior Apprentice Sister's love. You can't use rotten to describe him. It's a uh, being thrifty. If you don't understand, don't talk. Seeing Tang Wan'er cry, the other disciples hastily tried to comfort her. Good child. He might not have been blessed with great opportunity, but after this, he will definitely be viewed favorably by other experts. He'll definitely soar, comforted Feng Xinayu. Master, Tang Wan'er threw herself into her master's embrace. I didn't notice until you all pointed it out, but those clothes those are the ones that I made with my sisters. He's still wearing them after all this time despite their state. He's telling us that he's constantly thinking of us. Tang Wan'er was too carefree and fiery to notice that detail until her fellow disciple mentioned it. When she realized why he was wearing those clothes, she was filled with various emotions. Just as she was thinking of him, Long Chen was also thinking of her. Furthermore, seeing him wear them even in that state, she didn't know what kind of feeling she felt. She simply wept in Feng Xinayu's embrace. So that's the case. I thought that such a fellow would be so domineering that he only cared about himself. It seems that master has misjudged. Feng Xinayu gently stroked Tang Wan'er's hair and muttered to herself. The first time she saw Long Chen's image, she didn't feel very fond of him. He was too domineering. It was a domineeringness that rejected all others and their feelings. She didn't wish for Tang Wan'er to suffer with him. However, those clothes changed her opinion. Unexpectedly. This fellow truly did care immensely about feelings. Master, I have to find him, said Tang Wan'er as she wiped away her tears. Foolish child, Long Chen is in the Dao Don domain, also called the Dao Don world. It's the most particular domain within the hundred domains and thousand prefectures. There's a sea of devils there separating it from the rest of the immortal world. Unless you are on the side of Lord Brahma. Only the Huaian Trading Company's merchant ships can pass through the Devil Sea. Others will face the attacks of those devils. Even an immortal king would fall, said Feng Xinayu. Could it be that they would dare to stop Master as well? Asked Tang Wan'er. If I went, they wouldn't stop me. But they would do everything they could to kill me. Feng Xinayu bitterly smiled. In my youth, I ended up in a quarrel with them. I killed many of their devil kings. Later on. They schemed against me and almost harmed my Dao Foundation. In my fury, I slaughtered my way into the depths of their Devil Sea and killed a Devil Emperor. That ended up disturbing the Devil Eye. Until here, Feng Xinayu suddenly stopped, seemingly feeling like this wasn't good for Tang Wan'er and the others to hear. She then continued, In any case, your master can count as a mortal enemy of the Devil Sea. The Devil Cores on your sharp wind blades all came from the Devil Sea's Wind Devil Sharks. The Wind Devil Sharks are an emperor race within the Devil Sea. As soon as you approach the Devil Sea, they will sense you. If they came out in full force, even your master might not be able to charge through their formation. So you can't enter the Dao Don domain. Child, don't cry. You can't enter the Dao Don world, but Long Chen will come find you. According to what I know, the High Firmament Academy is the Martial Heaven Prefecture's most ancient academy. There are ancient living fossils present there. That is why Lord Brahma is unable to shake them even after so many years. You don't need to do anything other than properly raise your cultivation base. Once he leaves the Dao Don domain, you can be together again. But, but, 
But what that fellow has so many women by his side? What if he has no place for me in the future? That bastard. He always picks up new girls. A-H-H. -H. It really is infuriating. Tang Wanner's crying suddenly turned into anger. Dot. A streak of light flew through the air and pierced through the misty mountains. It was so fast that it almost exceeded the limits of space and time. That streak of light rapidly passed through the giant mountains. This was a desolate land with no sign of human habitation. However, on top of a particular mountain with swirling immortal mist, there were some beautiful pavilions. It was like a wonderland. Within those pavilions was a woman looking out. She was so beautiful that it seemed that she didn't possess the slightest flaw. A waterfall of hair fell to her waist. She seemed like a fairy that had walked out of a painting. Someone who didn't eat the food of mortal people. Someone untouched by dust. Within this wonderland, she appeared even more holy. The beam of light arrived in front of that woman and transformed into a young maiden. She asked, Big Sister Menchi, what is it? I was hunting down the thorn flame dragon, and I was about it what is it? Why are you crying? This maiden was the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow, while the peerlessly beautiful woman was Menchi. Cloud, take a look. Menchi handed over a photographic jade. Her eyes filled with tears. It's big brother Long Chen. It's big brother Long Chen. Cloud jumped in excitement. She then also began to cry from emotion. We've finally found word of big brother Long Chen. This really is great. Cloud. Starting today. We have to work even harder. Next time we see Long Chen. It'll be up to us to protect him. I don't want to see him bleed or cry again. Men Chi took a deep breath and patted Cloud's shoulder. Yes. Once I awaken the desolate bloodline, there won't be anyone in this world capable of bullying Big Brother Long Chen. Cloud wiped away her tears and spoke confidently. The current Cloud was no longer the old Cloud. She finally possessed her own confidence. Long Chen, wait for us. We'll find you soon. Men Chi once more looked at the photographic Jade. Gazing at that familiar figure, seeing his clothes. Her eyes once more filled with tears. Chapter 3175 Old Friends of the Martial Heaven Continent 5. One ice crystal after another fell to the ground, shattering on contact with the ground. They were like tiny diamonds blooming like flowers. Those ice crystals flowed out of a pair of beautiful eyes. As soon as those tears left her eyes, they transformed into ice and fell. Her face was icy but pure and holy. It was like a beautiful ice sculpture. However, deep within those icy eyes came waves of emotions as they stared at the photographic jade. I want to leave. Yis Hikiu spoke. This was her third time speaking this year. No. An equally icy voice rang out, and it came from an expressionless woman. She was Yis Hikiu's master. Yis Hikiu never asked for her master's name, and her master also never asked for her name. Here, Yis Hikiu only cultivated and did nothing else. The two of them almost never spoke. I must leave, said Yis Hikiu icily. You must not, replied her master. Ice had formed a giant palace here. It was already cold, but when the two of them spoke, another layer of frost appeared on the ice. After a moment, Yis Hikiu coldly asked, When can I leave? When you can pull out the frostless sword? All right, within the palace, Yis Hikiu and her master closed their eyes at the same time. The palace once more fell back into deathly silence. Ziaokian, you can't leave. If you go to Long Chen now, you will only bring him trouble. You won't be able to help him. An old crone with a cane blocked a woman. That woman had a flawless face. Due to her excitement, it was as if a flower was blooming on her face. It was an irresistible beauty. Her eyes in particular possessed a particular charm that was difficult to resist. It was as if she was both a witch and a fairy combined in one. She was Yu Ziaokian, holding a photographic jade. Yu Ziaokian emotionally said, I'm already a four-peak expert and have awakened the original devil race's highest bloodline, as well as condensed the original devil mirror. I have enough power to protect myself. I have to go find him. You have only condensed the first level of the original devil mirror, reminded the old crone. But, but. I miss him. I want to see him again. Yu Ziaokian choked back a sob. Good child. I understand. But the goal isn't just to see him. On the Martial Heaven continent. Didn't you end up side by side? 
But what happened after that? Weren't you forced to separate in the end? Without absolute power, there are only three possibilities for you. Either you watch as he is killed, he watches as you are killed, or you die together, said the crone solemnly. Hearing that, Uziokian cried even harder. It had been a year since they had to part, and every day felt incredibly long. Now, she finally knew where Long Chen was, but she was powerless to join him. This was unspeakable torture. Child, this world's future belongs to you. This little bit of time is nothing. Hence, work hard on cultivation. Only with power can you protect your loved ones. The crone gently patted Yu Ziaokian's back. Ultimately, Yu Ziaokian left with the crone. She had actually run away to this point, but regretfully, she didn't succeed in getting any further. Senior, spare me, spare me, all our wealth is yours, just spare us, shouted a panicked divine lord. In front of him was a large, armored man with a spear in hand. He was covered in blood, and his killing intent pervaded the air around him. He was like a warrior from hell that had come to kill. This place was a pile of ruins, based on the broken walls. It must have been an ancient city, but its glory had come to an end. You evil bastards. Did you think that the support of the Blood Kill Hall would allow you to do whatever you want? Eh, fine. I'm happy today. So I'll make sure to send you off with a full corpse. Slaughter them. Novaloon.com cm the large man's spear stabbed forward. As a result, that divine lord was stabbed through and blasted apart into blood mist. Thousands of armored warriors like the large man charged out. Helmets covered their entire faces. They attacked, slaughtering everyone here. The large man took off his helmet, revealing a bald head. Once his helmet was off, the entire battlefield seemed to brighten a tiny bit due to his bright head. Boss, wait for me. I, Gu Yang, haven't made you lose face. I'll find you soon. The excitement in Gu Yang's eyes didn't settle for a long time. He suddenly roared, finish cleaning up the battlefield within an incense stick's worth of time. After that, we're leaving immediately. We won't give the Blood Kill Hall a chance to retaliate. Yes, those warriors responded in the affirmative and quickly finished their tasks. Gu Yang then led his group of iron warriors flying away. Brother, we've been waiting for this. Song Mingguan and Li Qi stood on a barren land devoid of a single speck of greenery, looking at a photographic jade. The two of them shouted in excitement. They were so emotional that tears continuously streamed down their faces. We can go find boss now, exclaimed Li Qi. No, master gave us this mission. We have to first find our own opportunities within this desolate world. I feel like master must have some profound meaning behind it. You saw for yourself. Boss is only at the divine flame realm, but his power is already so terrifying. We can't get thrown behind. All right, let's go. We'll get stronger before joining boss again. Li Qi and Song Mingguan walked off. Their figures gradually faded beyond the horizon, but even from a great distance, it was possible to hear their excited cries. The Huaian Trading Company's influence spread far and wide, permeating the majority of the immortal world. However, there were many places that even the Huaian Trading Company couldn't set foot into. No matter how bright the sunlight was, there were always dark shadows. Those dark corners hid countless monsters observing the world. Their gazes were abstruse and sinister. They were like hibernating beasts in the dark, waiting for their chance to devour the world. Long Chen knew that his name would resound throughout the immortal world thanks to the Huaian Trading Company intentionally spreading the news. However, he didn't know just how many people would hear it. He was excited and nervous at the same time. They returned to the academy without any excitement, as no one tried to stop them. When they were back, the academy held a large celebration for Long Chen. For him to win double championships was a great glory to the academy. The celebration lasted a full three days before it was over. As for Long Chen's fame within the academy, it soared to an unprecedented level. However, after this victory, the academy started to impose emergency measures. Their defenses were increased by several levels compared to before. Furthermore, the movement of their disciples outside of the academy was greatly reduced. Some activities now required experts to accompany them. After the celebration, Lu Mingxuan, Luo Xue, Luo Qing, 
and the others were secretly sent off by the Academy's experts. The atmosphere of the Academy was much tenser than before. On this day, Long Chen called Qin Feng over. He took out the Resonance Dragon's scale. I've tested it. The True Dragon Reverse Scale will definitely have no affinity with you. But see if you can subdue the Resonance Dragon's scale. Chapter 3176 12th Vestige of Divine Flame Boss What happened to you? When Qin Feng saw Long Chen, he jumped in shock. Long Chen's entire body was covered in cracks, and traces of blood were flowing out all over his body. It looked like he was about to shatter. Long Chen waved his hand. I tested the Golden Dragon Scale's power to see if I could absorb it, but it seems impossible. Originally, Long Chen had wanted Qin Feng to also benefit from the Golden Dragon Scale. Even if the latter could only absorb the slightest trace of its essence blood, it would give his bloodline the power of a true dragon. This trace of sacred power was incredibly beneficial, especially against any dark energies attempting to invade his soul or mind. The true dragon's sacred might was the bane of all dark and sinister energies. If Qin Feng could absorb this ability, all illusion or spiritual attacks would have their effectiveness sharply reduced. It would also give him immense pressure against all forms of beasts, including divine and immortal beasts. However, Long Chen had tried to absorb a trace of its power just before and found that its power was a complete body, which meant that it had to be absorbed fully. It was impossible to absorb only a trace of it. In fact, the backlash just from trying it almost made his body explode. Hence, he directly gave up and had Qin Feng absorb the Resonance Dragon scale instead. Although it wasn't a true dragon, the Resonance Dragons were a powerful branch in the dragon race. Knowing Long Chen's character, Qin Feng didn't stand on courtesy. He consumed a medicinal pill, adjusted his state, and directly started absorbing the Resonance Dragon Scale's power. His hand barely touched the scale when the Berserk Dragon blood power erupted. Qin Feng instantly coughed up a mouthful of blood. Furthermore, countless cracks covered his body as well, until he looked quite similar to Long Chen. Long Chen was also shocked. This resonance dragon scale was stronger than he had expected. Fortunately, Qin Feng had some experience of merging with dragon blood, and his physical body was extremely strong. Hence, he had a certain resistance. Although his body looked to be on the verge of collapse, the actual chance of that occurring was very low. Subduing a dragon scale required resisting the dragon's will. Only once you obtained its approval could you merge with the essence blood noveloon.com no outside force could interfere with this, or the dragon scale would rather shatter itself than be subdued. Furthermore, rather than subduing the essence blood, it was more like a trial to obtain its approval. Without that approval, it was all too easy to lose one's life. All Long Chen could do was keep an eye on Qin Feng. If he really couldn't do it, then Long Chen would have to destroy the dragon scale. However, an hour later, despite Qin Feng's body seemingly being on the verge of destruction, he remained fine. Seeing this, Long Chen relaxed. The most dangerous part was over, as the dragon scale's energy was no longer increasing. In the first hour, its power had been growing more and more ferocious in waves. But after that, what they were competing with was will. There was no weakling without a strong will amongst the dragon blood warriors. Long Chen was confident in this regard. After six hours, Long Chen finally sighed with relief. The dragon scale's power had condensed, and it had approved of Qin Feng. All that was left was the merger. At this moment, blood-colored scales appeared on Qin Feng's body. He had summoned the dragon blood battle armor. A-H-H-H. Suddenly, Qin Feng screamed. Those scales fell off of his body along with chunks of his flesh, and blood poured out of him. To make one of the dragon blood warriors scream like this, it could only be said that he was enduring unendurable pain. However, where his flesh fell, new golden scales appeared. Long Chen nodded. The resonance dragon's blood has merged with you. The old dragon blood was expelled and your body is being remade. Even the runes on your bones are erased. This is a true rebirth. Long Chen didn't feel the slightest sympathy for Qin Feng as he screamed. Instead, he felt envy. After this, Qin Feng was going to be a completely different person. Perhaps he might not be able to match Gui Yun, but he would definitely be on par with Ku Wuya. 
Chin Fung had gone from a person with average talent in the lower plane to his current height. One reason was thanks to Long Chen's assistance, but without his own determination to get stronger even in the face of death, such a thing would not be possible. Long Chen and all the Dragonblood warriors only managed to succeed thanks to fighting alongside each other. Seeing that Qin Feng's will could easily obtain the recognition of the Resonance Dragon's reverse scale comforted him. It also made him miss the other Dragonblood warriors. If he was strong enough and had enough resources, could he equip all the Dragonblood warriors with Golden Dragonblood? He had the Heavenly Dao Tree and could turn them all into primals. The primal chaos space also had countless precious plants growing within it. With such an unending supply of resources, he could refine any pills they needed. Moreover, he had formed a connection with the Huaian Trading Company. It wouldn't be long before he could see Jung Wenlong again. When the Dragonblood Legion was gathered again, as long as they were given enough time, who could stop them? Time. 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 What he needed the most was time. He had to quickly increase his cultivation base. As Qin Feng screamed during his metamorphosis, Long Chen stuffed medicinal pills into his own mouth. During the Nine Prefecture Convention, Huo Long and the Moon and Star Refining Furnace hadn't slacked off. They were helping him refine mountains of pills, so he was not ready to continue breaking through. Three days later, Qin Feng finished his metamorphosis. However, he had almost collapsed. Even for him, that torment was too much, and he fell unconscious. As for Long Chen, he crazily consumed medicinal pills. He was unsure if it was due to the blessing of the Rainbow Crane race or not, but now he was absorbing the medicinal pills particularly quickly. He had reached the 11th heaven stage without any difficulty. With that, he began consuming pills crazily. A month later, he was finally done with his seclusion and had reached the peak of the 12th heaven stage of the Divine Flame Realm. Inside of him, his 108,000 stars blazed with divine flames. Their power was practically endless. Flames even gushed out of his body out of control, turning his room into a sea of fire. This was no ordinary fire but the power of his divine flames. They could incinerate the very laws of the heavenly deos. Boss wait, shouted Long Chen hastily. But it was too late. The door to the room was opened, and Qin Feng let out a startled cry as the power of Long Chen's divine flames burst out like a volcano, turning into a stream of fire that blasted through the land. Chapter 3177 Beishishi undergoes tribulation Fortunately, Long Chen's seclusion room was in a remote place, and no casualties occurred as a result of this burst of power. Qin Feng turned pale. Thanks to merging with the Resonance Dragon's essence blood, his physical body was strong enough to survive it. What happened? Long Chen and Qin Feng both asked the other the same question. Boss, what's going on? I only opened the outer door, exclaimed a chaired Qin Feng. Long Chen's seclusion room had an inner and outer door. The outer door was there as a buffer to allow communication with the person in the inner room. However, after reaching the peak of the 12th heaven stage of the Divine Flame Realm, in order to grow accustomed to his new power faster, he unleashed the full power of his Divine Flames, resulting in the destruction of the inner gate. Moreover, he hadn't expected someone to open the outer gate. Did something happen? asked Long Chen. He pulled back his Divine Flame power. The Huaian Trading Company sent something over. I was worried it was something urgent. So I immediately brought it over, said Qin Feng, handing over a trunk. Long Chen opened it and saw several sets of robes. His eyes instantly reddened. These were black robes in the exact same style as the ones that he was wearing. Long Chen picked up the first one. He eyed every single stitch, every single thread. After that, tears welled up in his eyes. He could practically see how Meng Chi had spent her time making this with a sweet smile on her face as she poured her thoughts into it. There was no need for words. He could feel everything that she wanted to say to him. These clothes were the greatest encouragement for him. They were like a glimmer of light within the night sky. There are two more. The first one is Meng Qi's. Every single stitch of hers is perfect. And this one is Ming Gaiu's. Although they look perfect and the stitches are even. The directionality has some slight differences. An assassin is always meticulous. As for this one, it seems that the stitches had to be redone many times. It's definitely one or's. Long Chen was extremely moved. 
These were all priceless treasures for him, ones that made him even happier than the golden dragon scale. Although he only received three gifts, he trusted that a lot of his people had received word of him. Not everyone was capable of getting in contact with the Huaian Trading Company, and they also weren't aware of Long Chen's connection with them. These three robes clearly proved that the Huaian Trading Company had spread the news far and wide. He just had to let everyone know that he was still alive. They could properly cultivate and anticipate the day of their reunion. Then they would sweep through this world together. Suddenly, something dropped out of one of those robes, clattering to the ground. It was a pair of golden scissors. They looked sharp, but both of the blades had a notch in them as if they were for cutting round things. What is this? Asked Chin Fang, picking it up. He didn't see any clues. Long Chen looked at it oddly and suddenly laughed. This was done by Tang Wan Er. On the Martial Heaven continent, she had once said that if he had too many women by his side and no longer cared about her, she would use scissors to cut Long Chen off, afraid that he would stop thinking about her. She had intentionally sent over these scissors, with the notches referring to a certain area of a man. Chin Feng examined the scissors oddly. However, Long Chen grabbed it and put it away. As expected, Tang Wan Er's nature wouldn't be changing in this lifetime. Boss, they know we're at the High Firmament Academy. Why don't they wish to join us? Asked Chin Feng. They're busy increasing their power. They've long since reached the Four Peak Realm and that's an important moment to raise their power. They can't stop, said Long Chen. Whether it was Meng Chi, Dong Mingyu, or Tang Wan Er, they hadn't passed on any letters. All they left were their emotions. Those emotions were something that Long Chen could sense. Clearly, the three of them knew just how dangerous it was for a nine-star heir to exist in the immortal world. Perhaps others wouldn't understand, but these three clothes sent him a clear message. There might be many reasons that they couldn't come, but one important reason was because they didn't want to be spotted by certain powers. Long Chen's intuition told him that those powers belonged to Lord Brahma. The girls were afraid that Long Chen would be exposed, so they only sent clothes. At the same time as Long Chen was emotional, he also sensed that Lord Brahma's side was even stronger than he had imagined. As for the enemies on the Martial Heaven continent who knew the secret of his status, the only one who was still alive was Long Aotian. However, Long Chen wasn't worried about him exposing his status. The black soil pill that Long Chen had fed Long Aotian contained a curse from the primal chaos space. If he exposed anything about Long Chen's status as a nine-star heir, he would definitely die. Furthermore, the dragon expert had also told Long Chen not to worry about Long Aotian because it had erased those memories pertaining to the nine-star heirs from his mind. That mysterious dragon expert truly appeared to be omnipotent. Long Chen was grateful but also curious. He was unable to deduce just what level of expert that dragon expert was. With a test, he had confirmed that Imputa didn't know his status. He wondered if that was also due to the dragon expert. What Long Chen didn't know was that the dragon expert had secretly helped him with many things. The patriarch of the moon howling heavenly wolf race also hadn't seen that Long Chen was a nine-star heir from Little Snow's memories because a portion of those memories had been sealed, and not even that patriarch could see them. Otherwise, the patriarch wouldn't have needed to see Long Chen's gaze in the photographic jade to tell that he was a nine-star heir. Boss, are you preparing to attack the Four Peak Realm? How is the power of your divine flame so great? Asked Chin Fang. I was just testing my recent gains. I think it should still be about a month until I can attack the Four Peak Realm, said Long Chen. He had to gain full control of his power before he dared to attack the Four Peak Realm. He also wanted to see if he could condense the Golden Dragon battle armor before that. Ah, has anything happened in the academy during this time? Asked Long Chen randomly. Just then, Long Chen and Qin Feng's status plates began flashing. Bei Shishi is undergoing her four peak tribulation. Let's have a look and gain some experience. Long Chen and Qin Feng immediately set off. Chapter 3178 Crane Cry Valley within the High Firmament Academy. There was a sacred place called Crane Cry Valley. It was the old residence of the Rainbow Crane race. Back then, for some reason, they relocated to a different region within the High Firmament Academy. As a result, 
This place had become a holy land for powerful geniuses to undergo tribulation. It was because this place still had the auspicious chi of the rainbow crane race, and heavenly tribulation would be affected by it, becoming gentle. Undergoing tribulation here was extremely safe and effective. It was a treasured land that made countless other sects envious. However, in order to prevent that auspicious chi from dissipating, only heavenly geniuses of sufficient talent were qualified to undergo tribulation here. If someone was injured or died here, it would affect that auspicious chi. Hence, even someone on Beishishi's level needed to undergo several tests before she could undergo tribulation here. The High Firmament Academy had several strange rules. They didn't have high requirements for the weak, but the stronger you were, the greater their demands. For example, even Beishishi didn't get any special privileges beyond what she fought for. She needed to pass through all the requirements herself. When Long Chen and Qin Feng arrived, there were already countless disciples present. Those people's eyes brightened when they saw Long Chen. Today's Long Chen curiously didn't wear his old clothes. He had put in a new set that was as black as night. In the fluttering of the wind, he appeared both mysterious and domineering. He seemed even brighter than before. Brother San, you look good in those clothes, praised Mu Qingyan. The current Long Chen truly possessed killing power toward any woman. Even his gaze seemed different. There was normally some indescribable sadness in his eyes, but that had vanished. He truly seemed like a fresh ray of sunshine. Haha, <laughs> is it just the clothes laughed Long Chen. Wearing the clothes that Men Chi had made for him, he was like a happy child. Brother San is already good looking, so the clothes only make you look better, said Zhang Ling with a laugh. He, well said. Just wait, I'll definitely keep you in mind when I rise, said Long Chen with an obviously pleased expression. He, thank you Brother San. Brother San is the most handsome. It seemed that Zhang Ling really knew how to flatter someone. It's too bad that all the money from the Nine Prefecture Convention was already given away. Don't worry, your brother San will make more money. As long as you follow brother San, there will definitely be meat to eat, said Long Chen. This time, other than the two dragon scales, Long Chen had given the rest of his award away. The Battle God Palace's disciples had abandoned the competition simply because of Long Chen's word. Although they didn't have the ability to compete for those prizes, Long Chen knew that it was definitely aggravating to just give up like that. They would rather risk death than lose the face of the Battle God Palace. Hence, he had split the majority of his immortal crystals with them. He refused to let them decline, and this had fully won them over. Such a figure was worth them following into death. Standing on the edge of Crane Cry Valley, Long Chen waved to Bei Shishi who was standing within. As a result, Bei Shishi merely glanced at him before ignoring him, leaving him standing there awkwardly. He grumbled, HMPH, all I get is a slap in the buttocks keep talking nonsense and I'll kill you, raged Bei Shishi. Shishi, take care of your emotions only then did Long Chen notice that Bei Shishi's mother was also in the crowd. Bei Shishi glared at Long Chen once more before ignoring him. My apologies, senior. I didn't notice you. Long Chen hastily greeted Bei Shishi's mother. I see. After putting on new clothes, your gaze has started to ascend. We old timers can no longer enter your eyes. She teased. Long Chen instantly felt awkward. It truly did seem that he had underestimated just how high-spirited he was today. He hastily said. Senior is joking. What do you mean by old? Standing together, the two of us look like brother and sister. Long Chen, shut your mouth. Bei Shishi frowned ferociously. This was clearly taking advantage of her. This way, Long Chen's seniority firmly rose above hers. Looking at this, Bei Shishi's mother was speechless. She then formed a hand seal, summoning a curtain of light that isolated Bei Shishi. That way, she couldn't see or hear them. That child. She can't even control her emotions. She's lacking control as she hasn't suffered enough losses. Sighed Bei Shishi's mother. Long Chen was embarrassed. While it sounded like she was talking about Bei Shishi, the words could be directed at him as well. That was because his control over his emotions was extremely lacking. Furthermore, it was the kind where suffering losses didn't teach him any lesson. However, that wasn't something that Long Chen could do anything about. He understood but that was meaningless. 
When his mood was good, the dark energy of the purgatory eyes was hidden. But when he got angry, that dark energy would be like oil on the fire. The more he suppressed it, the wilder it grew. Seeing Long Chen's odd expression, Bei Shishi's mother smiled. It's not as if I am talking about you. What's with that look? He, I was just solemnly pondering Senior's golden words of wisdom. I find that every single word is like a pearl corroborating everything that I've been through. I am sighing in amazement, said Long Chen. You really are a glib mouthed fellow. No wonder you have so many women. The times are changing. Girls no longer like well behaved people, sighed Bei Shishi's mother. Are you saying that I'm not well behaved? asked Long Chen. With so many women by your side, does that count as well behaved? retorted Bei Shishi's mother. Doesn't the palace master also have more than one? As long as you are faithful until death, what's the difference between two and two thousand? Long Chen shrugged. Child, are you angry? asked Bei Shishi's mother. How could I be? Junior doesn't dare to. But I hope that Senior doesn't question other people's feelings randomly, said Long Chen lightly. But his expression truly didn't look very good. In this world, there were no absolutes. Someone with one mate might not truly love each other, and someone with more than one mate might not necessarily be fickle in love. Judging others by your own standards was inappropriate. Your shoes were fit only for yourself. If it was someone else that said this, Long Chen might have turned hostile. Bei Shishi's mother laughed. All right, I won't joke with you any longer. You really are the same. That temper, that character. Well, in any case, people have their own fates. I won't worry about you. But remember one thing. During your four-peak tribulation, you will face all kinds of heart devils. If you are unable to maintain your intellect, your four-peak tribulation might kill you. Toward the end. Her smile completely vanished and she became grave. Chapter 3179 Devil See Just at this moment, thunder rumbled and lightning blades began to fall. The surrounding disciples were all shocked. It was because amongst these disciples, only some had experienced heavenly tribulation, and that was in the mortal world. In the immortal world, there was generally no heavenly tribulation from the mortal transcendence realm to the divine flame realm. Only when attacking the Four Peak Realm would they encounter Heavenly Tribulation again. And this time, it was Immortal Lightning, something that represented the Immortal World's laws. Hence, that pressure reached deep into their souls. Immortal Lightning was the blade of the Grand Dao. In front of it, people were as minuscule as ants. They couldn't form the slightest thought of disrespect toward it. Hence, even though this wasn't their own tribulation, when it descended, their souls still shuddered in fear. This was why the Academy had brought all the Divine Flame Disciples within the Academy over for Beishishi's Tribulation. It was for the experience. Although this Tribulation didn't lock onto them, this experience could increase their chances to pass their own Tribulation. Their wills might not instantly shatter upon feeling this terror. Heavenly Tribulation was not just a trial for the body but also the soul because it contained the 10,000 Deos. If a person was properly prepared, they could benefit immensely from heavenly tribulation. At this moment, the terrifying lightning crashed down, bringing with it destructive power. However, when it fell into Crane Cry Valley, that destructive power vanished and the pressure softened. It was like a vicious palm was slamming down, only to suddenly become a light tap on contact. It truly is a blessing. Seeing this, Long Chen sighed. His tribulation was not a slap. It was like a blade that repeatedly tried to cut him in two. On the Martial Heaven continent, this had happened repeatedly. Just as he thought that things would be different in the immortal world, he found that nothing had changed. His heavenly tribulation always wanted his life. The heavenly tribulation didn't start off strong. Adding on that this was a treasured land, this so-called tribulation was like a heavenly present. As the range of the tribulation slowly grew, so was the pressure. Quite a few disciples felt like their souls were being stabbed, and some of them couldn't endure it. After all, even the Outer Academy's disciples had been brought over, and they were a far cry from the Inner Academy's disciples. Why don't you say a few words? said Bei Shishi's mother. Me? What am I supposed to say? asked Long Chen. You know what to say. Why act like you don't? Why me? Why don't you tell me? Fine. 
Long Chen helplessly shook his head, clearing his throat. He loudly said, Heavenly tribulation contains destructive will, something that exceeds the 10,000 daos. Try resisting this pressure, and it will stimulate your mental energy, making your will stronger. Weak people cultivate the body, but the strong cultivate the heart. Only when the heart is firm can you face all kinds of difficulties. All experts must have a firm determination and will, without exception. This is a rare chance. A heavenly genius like Fairy Shishi will summon a powerful heavenly tribulation, and no one is asking you to help her fight the heavenly tribulation. The Academy has called you here as a chance to temper your wills. So, use your wills to resist the heavenly tribulation. Cast away your fear and forget death. If you want to become an expert, there are no shortcuts, but there are opportunities. Such a good opportunity is not right in front of you. If you don't grasp it though, it's meaningless. An expert becomes an expert because they have a reason to get stronger no matter what. Fate forces them to be strong. If you want to change your fate, if you don't want to simply be mediocre, if you don't want to be manipulated and bullied by others, grasp this chance in front of you. If you miss this chance, you will regret it for a lifetime. Trust me, fight as if your life depends on it, and you will obtain a harvest that you will never have expected. Long Chen's voice resounded through the air. Even the thundering lightning was unable to block his voice. It was as if his will was above the heavenly tribulation. Long Chen was the idol of the Academy's junior generation, so his words were like an imperial edict to them. Hearing him say this, the disciples that had been about to give up clenched their teeth and persevered. With just this simple speech, Long Chen drove these people to resist the will of the heavenly tribulation. It was as if they were fighting alongside him. Even if they fought to the death, it would be without regrets. Seeing those disciples' impassioned expressions, Bei Shishi's mother smiled. You're really good at duping people. Long Chen was speechless. She was clearly the one who had told him to raise their morale. How did it suddenly become duping them? I find that you really don't know how to take a joke, said Bei Shishi's mother. It's because I respect senior too much. I'm not used to seniors joking with me. My old seniors would beat me if I joked with them, said Long Chen. On the Martial Heaven continent, he definitely wouldn't dare to joke like this with Ku Jinying, Ling Yunzi, or the old man, especially not the old man. One bad joke and that cane of his would beat Long Chen black and blue. I'm teasing you like this because this is one of the trials of the Four Peak Tribulation. You must maintain your calm at all times, especially at the end when your heart devils surface. If you cannot face them calmly, well, even a primal might make the wrong choice and lose their primal bloodline. This is why you didn't encounter any divine lords with a primal bloodline during the Nine Prefecture Convention, said Bei Shishi's mother. Why is that? asked Long Chen, feeling startled. He hadn't read anything about this in the academy. Long Chen was also curious why he hadn't encountered a single primal amongst the divine lords at the Nine Prefecture Convention when there were so many primals among the competitors. In this world, there are some things that cannot be written with pen and ink. They can only be transmitted by word. Our Dao Don domain is an extremely special existence amongst the hundred domains. This place has the bodies of devils from the desolate era buried within it. Legend has it that this place has been cursed by those devils, and cultivating here will cause stronger heart devils. But it also has a good side. If a person is able to overcome their heart devil and maintain their pure primal bloodline, their future path will be brighter in the future. Other than the heart devils, there is another important reason that causes primals to be so rare amongst the divine lords. It's the devil see. Upon hearing that, Long Chen's heart shook. Is that related to the desolate era's devils? Chapter 3180 Rank 5 Heavenly Darun The matters of the desolate era were not recorded by written characters. Hence, no one was clear on them because the few badly damaged murals and odd diagrams from that time were indecipherable. So, the legends of the desolate era were simply legends. These were just stories for people to listen to and only a few people really believed in them. However, some matters of the desolate era were believed without a doubt because some things that couldn't be explained by the current era were related to those legends. Whether or not those desolate fiends really exist, no one knows. But because the Dao Don domain borders the Devil Sea, 
it is affected by it, resulting in our domain having very few Divine Lord Primals. You also saw that there wasn't a Primal Divine Lord at the Nine Prefecture Convention. It's because Primals will all escape the Dao Don domain before reaching the Divine Lord realm. Those who did manage to make their breakthrough in other domains usually don't bother returning, said Beishishi's mother. Then isn't this domain really a hell? Those who have ability flee, while only those with no ability stay here, asked Long Chen. That's about right. Those who make breakthroughs to the Divine Lord realm can succeed, but their primal bloodline will curiously disappear, said Beishishi's mother. Is it taken by someone? asked Long Chen. Beishishi's mother was a bit startled. She then looked at Long Chen and didn't reply. Upon seeing her reaction, Long Chen's heart skipped a beat. It felt like he had guessed correctly. Was the Dao Don domain truly hiding some unspeakable secret? Was this related to why the dragon expert had sent him here? But I believe the High Firmament Academy must have a way to counter this. Right? asked Long Chen. Beishishi's mother smiled but didn't reply. However, that faint smile was clearly his answer. Just at this moment, countless devil beasts appeared within Beishishi's heavenly tribulation. These devil beasts are the ones that Beishishi has slain before. She was still weak back then and had to go all out to kill them. Although she won, they left a shadow on her heart. During the four peak heavenly tribulation, those shadows grow, manifesting within the tribulation. All the fear within a person's heart is drawn out. I provoked you so that you would be prepared. What you fear and hate the most might appear in your heavenly tribulation. Also, the rainbow crane race's auspicious chi can reduce the might of the heavenly tribulation, but it cannot reduce these heart devil manifestations. That is what worries me the most. Long Chen instantly felt ashamed. I'm sorry, senior. Junior was rude. Long Chen was shocked inside. If this heavenly tribulation could manifest the world within his inner heart, wouldn't all his secrets be exposed? Die. Suddenly, a heaven-shaking roar came from within the tribulation. Long Chen and the others jumped in shock. Ku Wuaya. Ku Wuaya's figure appeared within the manifestation. He was wielding his wolf tooth club, and his aura was even more frightening compared to on the martial stage. The more the heart fears, the stronger the enemies grow. This Ku Wuaya is one of the heart devils and Shishi must defeat her own heart devils in order to purify her Dao heart, said Bei Shishi's mother. Her expression was still calm. She had clearly long since expected Ku Wuaya to appear here. Rumbling rang out. Bei Shishi's golden sword emitted dazzling light. With a single slash, a torrent of chi gushed out, bewitching the eyes. The Ku Wuaya that had been condensed by lightning only lasted a few minutes against Bei Shishi before being destroyed. The fact that Shishi can so easily dispatch her heart devil is mostly thanks to you, said Bei Shishi's mother. She referred to how Long Chen had defeated Ku Wuaya. If Ku Wuaya was still alive and had happily won the Martial Dao Convention, then even if Bei Shishi could defeat the real Ku Wuaya, this heart devil version of him would be even stronger. Perhaps she would still be able to win, but not so easily. After Ku Wuaya was slain, millions of specks of light appeared. Every light contained a flickering rune. Bei then Shishi slowly closed her eyes, as if she was meditating. This is now the critical moment. She must choose four peaks. According to the proper sequence, you should choose the area you are strongest in and then pick the next strongest one. Once your four peaks are chosen, the 10,000 Deos will merge, strengthening the four peaks. Bei Shishi's mother was speaking for everyone. The Four Peak Realm could be considered a turning point in a cultivator's life. They had to choose four areas to strengthen themselves. Those specks of light each contained a rune, and those runes represented different kinds of power. There were hundreds of them just for pure power, including the chi, blood, flesh, tendons, bones, and others. But some could also increase the overall power of the body and not just individual parts. It was up to you whether you could sense them and grasp them. Those runes all looked the same on the outside. Only those with absolute calmness could clearly sense what kind of power they contained. The people couldn't make any mistakes here. They had to pick their strongest point with the first rune from amongst these millions of runes. There also couldn't be any mistakes with the order. Furthermore, the heavenly tribulation only gave a person a few minutes to choose the runes. 
Once the heavenly tribulation dissipated, they would never have this chance to pick their four peaks again. Within the tribulation, all one's attention would be on the tribulation. Their sense of time would grow muddled. Thus, this decision was also a mental trial. Bashishi suddenly made her move. She flew up to one of the runes in the air, and startled cries rang out. Just as Bashishi made contact with the rune, it vanished with a flash, disappearing amongst those millions of runes. Ah, how regretful. The rune dodged. It had to be a high-level heavenly darun. Amongst these heavenly darunes, the same kind of attribute would appear seven times. These seven runes would all be of the same attribute, but of different quality. Rank 1 to rank 7. Every rank represented a different future. The first four ranks did not possess enough spirituality. Only those at rank 5 and above were capable of dodging. So countless people felt regretful that Beishishi hadn't managed to grasp that rune. Suddenly, Beishishi made her move again. The void shuddered and azure light erupted. It's a rank 5 heavenly darun.